Shalom in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are your favorite ex-Muslims spreading Christianity through bringing the gospel to Somali Muslims and uh, exposing the deception of Islam to set our people free. If you want to be expert in these areas, we advise you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will assure you that you will be expert in these three areas. Yes, praise God. Today we have amazing testimony. Uh, guys, invite all your friends. Our brother uh, Francis will share his testimony, how he left Islam and also the death threat in the, at the speaker's corner. So, brother, welcome, Francis. Welcome, brother. Thank you so much. Hello, yeah. everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, it is so amazing time. I like, we like uh, testimonies. And uh, when people share the, their testimony with us, we see it as uh, testimony of Jesus. Mm. And now it is a precious time and a blessed time that we're having with our brother Francis. And he will share with us uh, his uh, own testimony, his journey from the dark to um, the glorious light of Hallelujah. our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. So, yeah. So, but you know, all the time the Muslims, they will say uh, they're growing. Can you see here? Three of us, yes, infidels left Islam. I see. <laughs> we are so proud of that. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Amen. Islam is dying. Yeah. Jesus is the only way to go to heaven. Yeah. And thank you, Jesus, for saving us. Yes, you know. Yeah, yeah this is a blessed time that uh, we're going to have with our brother um, Francis. And uh, we ask you to invite all your uh, friends and uh, share this uh, live stream on uh, all social media that people will see how Jesus is working amongst, among, among Muslims. Muslims. So, yeah, yeah uh, with further uh, ado, I will, you know, invite uh, our brother Francis into the show. Brother, take your, uh, your way here. Yes, yes, please. Yep. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, and thank you so much, Somali Christian, for inviting me over to your show. Mm, uh, you. It's absolutely a big blessing to see more ex-Muslims coming on the front. And it's mm. a blessing to see that uh, many of us have the courage to be here where before many of us did not, did not think that this would be happening. Like, I never had the concept that there would be many ex-Muslims like me like many of them ex-Muslims think because mm. majority when 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 one of us leaves it's like we don't know how the other person is going to take it we tell them yeah how, yeah. how we're going to leave so it's really a blessing but yeah but my biggest testimony starts from it's not only me who left islam it's my entire family who left islam wow, wow. congratulations praise jesus. We praise, jesus. Together. praise jesus yeah wow praise the lord praise yeah, the lord yeah yeah we we are yes Amen. yeah you are so blessed it's not many people who can say they left islam yeah. and all their family left islam in one go you are so exactly. blessed and had the favor of god Amen. praise god for yes, that that's what i want to so, say so yeah 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 brother carry on so i i started off um back in 2018 actually to learn more about Quran and learn more about Islam. So that's when I started going to different mosques mm -hmm. and different places in order to understand uh, the religion that I'm in. I wasn't mm -hmm. sorry. And which is why I had to. So I started reading the Quran. I started reading a lot of Sahih Bukhari. Um, a lot of different scriptures on which were available online, yeah. but it wasn't it wasn't taking me anywhere because it was making me question it more and more, because because I sort of like thought that when people claim it to be such a religion of peace, but it's not really a religion of peace. Yeah, and that's why I was like maybe maybe the way I'm reading maybe I'm taking it out of context, so that's why I started going to the mosques, uh, in a lot of different places, and started saying okay. So what's, can you, can you explain what does this mean? So, because the biggest thing was in like the Muslims would predominantly use this verse and they would cut out the, the, the starting portion of the verse. It's yeah. like killing of all humanity is like killing, uh, killing of one person, like killing of all humanity and yeah. saving one person's life. is like saving the, saving all of humanity. But when it, when I read the Quran, I was like, to the children of Israel, we ordain on them. Yeah. That we order them that if they kill some, uh, if they kill an innocent, it's like they kill the whole of yeah. humanity. Yeah. And I was like, that's for the children of Israel. But then you go to the next verse, it says, but for you Muslims, yeah. if anyone defies Allah <laughs> or anyone defies Muhammad, yeah. it's like they need to be, they need to be completely executed. And I'm like, oh, but why wow. do Muslims use that for themselves? It's not for it's for children of Israel. 
Yeah. Well, why is this for? Why is this? Why are the Muslims using it? Yeah. And then the, he said, well, because it's in the Quran, so we can use it. I'm like, what do you mean this is in the Quran? So it's in the Quran that we need to be right. We need to be true. So how come we are being true by saying this is what our Quran says for us, but this is actually for children of Israel? Mm-hmm. You are not, we are not children of Israel then. Yeah. So we are Muslims and you, you call children, children of Israel like what? Kafir? Yeah. Kupar, yeah. Kupar, uh, yeah. Yehudi? Yeah. Uh, or every other name, uh, every other name you can think of. Uh, you wouldn't call them Muslim, so why are we using that for that? Why are we using their verse for for us? And yeah, I did have a lot of debates uh, in regards to this, and a lot of times it was it got really it got really sour for me because you can imagine when you question something and it's like shut up and just listen. But it's yeah. never, it, I was never like that. Mm. I was more I was going question and question and question after question after question. Hmm. I was like, you tell me, in, in, literally, it says, Aisha was six years old when she got married. Yeah. She was not 12. She was mm. not 13. She was not 14. She was not 18. It says, no way. It literally says, she was six years old. Yeah. yeah. And the marriage was continuing when she was nine. Wow. Why yeah. are you telling me differently? Mm-hmm. What sort of prophet would think that? And then I got, and then I got answers like, no, but you don't, you, you don't realize, brother. You don't realize, brother. It's yeah. like, it, all times it happens. And I'm like, come on. I have yeah. more morality in yeah. that aspect. If I was even born at that time, or maybe not, any time, I would still say that is a child. That is yeah. still a child that you're married yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. That does not make you anything else but mm. a pedophile. Yeah. So yeah. please. Please and please do not lie this, lie this, uh, lie, lie, lie to me about this. Mm. Then, uh, then I started questioning about in regards to Allah being the best of deceivers, and that was really that really shook me a lot. That really, that was, that was something that came up to my mind, and I was like, no, this cannot be true. Yeah, mm. this cannot be true. And then I was like. I need to ask about this. Is it really saying it's deceiver? But it came out to be true that it was actually a deceiver. And I asked an imam uh, in in a mosque, and I was like, "Please explain to me how Allah is the best of deceiver." Yeah. <laughs> and he he just he he looked at me for three seconds, and he was like. But you don't realize the context. Like he's the deceiver for the non-Muslims. I'm like, he's the God. <laughs> yeah. You literally claim him as a God. Yeah. He made you saying he made the whole humanity on this earth. Every single thing in this earth is made by him. And he wants to deceive his own creation. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And then I was like, he was he just said to me, look. You're questioning a bit too much here. You yeah. need to you need to understand God has his own ways. I'm like, God has his own ways. Absolutely fine. Mm-hmm. But morally, I think I'm more superior than Allah right now because I would if I have I have an aquarium and the fishes are relying on me. Those fishes that I'm feeding, I'm making sure that they're well fed, they're well looked after. The yeah. water's clean for them. The decoration is yeah. nice for them. Yeah, I will make sure that things are clean for them. I'm, mm. I'm not that God, but at least I've got high moral standards than Allah yeah. himself. True. And and then uh, the topic of the scriptures came to me. And Sahih Bukhari. Bukhari was born in Uzbekistan 200 years after Muhammad's death. Yeah. A man who claims to be so knowledgeable in, uh, in mem- the memory of, like, mem- of memory of someone ex- more more superior than anyone else, and then he yeah. has it. he's he's collecting all these hadiths, ninety thousand of them he memorized, and only seventy five hundred of them mm-hmm. were the ones which were put in Sahih Bukhari. Yeah, how do we know it's true when he has not met Muhammad? He mm-hmm. has not claimed anyone, uh, claimed to meet him or whatsoever. He's just taking bits from the people 
and then just writing the book down. So he, he <laughs> just thinks every, everything's fine. Everything's mm. normal. And I'm like, excuse me, what's this all about? Well, why, why are you having, why, why is this person writing about Muhammad who was literally born 200 years later? Yeah. Imams could not answer me this because some of the Imams told me that they don't believe in Bukhari. Mm -hmm. Some of the Imams said, we don't believe in Tirmidhi. We don't believe in uh, all this, the contextual books. Only thing yeah. we are focused on is, uh, is the Quran. I was like, fine. Okay. Hmm. So there are certain Muslim sects who would who would believe more about 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 Bukhari as well because it's the uh, it's a lot of hadiths there it's a lot of sunnahs there. But then uh, another thing came up to my mind was in regards to the Quran. Then I researched about Quran, how how Quran came up, how the how the actual word of Quran came up. Hmm. Like there was no mention of Muhammad in any books whatsoever. Uh, I've read a lot of history books, but there was no mention of Muhammad. There was no mention of Quran. So I'm like, where does this word actually comes from? Yeah. But then you see that you see the Syriac language, which was way before Arabic. Mm -hmm. So Quran itself is the word Quran. Yeah. I can't literally tell you the literal meaning of it, but it's mm -hmm. literally uh, it's like the literature of Christianity. Yeah, it's That's not even Quran Arabic. Means. That's yeah. what I hear. It's not even Arabic language. It's not, it's not Arabic. Quran no. literally is a Syriac, Syriac word. Syriac. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Quran is the word it they took and made it into Quran, hmm. which literal meaning is the the literature of the literature of um, Christianity, and you're yeah. like. Okay, because they had tussle between them that they, yeah. they wouldn't like to name it Torah, they wouldn't like to name it Injil, but they were like they would they wouldn't want to name it to anything else. They just wanted something else. And I'm like <laughs> Okay. Too much trouble there. Yes. Yeah. My trouble grew and grew and grew and grew as as much as I looked into it. Yeah. Uh but the time came when I gave it up because I I was I was totally fed up. Mm. in regards to getting so many different uh different answers but then on the friday press many friday prayers i would say i would not yeah. say one i started as asking imams the question on the khutbah mm -hmm. i just rose my hand up wow i was like okay i'm gonna question these people let's see what happens they'll kick me out oh they'll, they'll beat me they'll yeah. do something fine but let's just question let's let's be brave here Mm -hmm. wow. So when this when this uh, Imam was saying, "Well, we can't be like Nasara. We can't be like these people you see outside of the tree. We need to be pure. We need to be pious. Look at yourself, brother. All mm. these good things happening in the room. We we need to we need to see the good things, but we also need to realize that these people we cannot associate ourselves with them." And I'm, I just looked at him and I was like, "Yeah." Asked me, I, I've got a question. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, speak. Yeah. Well, you say all these people are bad, but some of these people are really good people. Why do yeah. we constantly abuse them? Mm -hmm. Why do you constantly call them all sorts of names? Why do you do that? Yeah. And he, he just, uh, obviously, um, some people would say uh, he would have used the word infidel, but he would use the word kafir. Yeah. yeah. You question the authority of Allah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> they get mad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I was like, well, okay. I question the authority of Allah, but I question you actually. In yes. regards to why would you claim yeah. that you're the best of the persons? You, we don't know what you do at home. We don't know what sort of what sort of, what sort of things are happening around your area. Mm. We don't know who you live with. Mm. You might be really nice to your English neighbors, but yeah. then you come in the mosque and you start abusing them. Mm -hmm. uh, Good question. The, the whole, the whole thing's the whole thing just ran out of order. The the imam started calling me names, and then and then he threw me out. People, he just took people, and he was like, "Just throw this out. Never wow. ever he be allowed in the mosque." I was like, "Fine. Yeah. I'll never come back here. Fine. No problem." Mm -hmm. Which I yeah. went to another mosque. Did the yeah. same thing there. Got thrown out. Another mosque got thrown out. Because I'm not, I'm, I'm, I was totally fed up. I was like, okay, you know what? If I'm going to leave, 
I'll just leave it a bang. Mm -hmm. And and the Muslims confirmed me everything that I everything that I asked, everything I mm -hmm. learned. It was just perfect. It was yeah. just a perfect opportunity for me to at least see the real face of Muslims as well. Yeah. yeah. But then yeah. I would also say one thing though. Mm. There are some really good Muslims out there who do not know anything about their religion whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. the saddest part. Yeah. Because that's that's the people I still communicate with this day, still have good debates with. And this was this was me leaving Islam. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, uh, brother. Thank you so much. I just want to say thank you so much for uh, uh, Dar Thank you for the super chat. God bless you. Said Dam. I'm very poor. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But anyway, thank you for the super chat. My God bless you. And brother, you know the Bible said, and uh, my people are uh, perish because of the lack of knowledge. The Muslims yes. are just blindly following religion. They don't even know. What it says of you course. know they just they are the victim the muslims are victim mm -hmm. yeah so yeah praise god for yeah that. brother francis i'm so happy that uh, you questioned and uh, the questioning is uh, the beginning of uh, more knowledge i believe and uh, i'm so happy that uh, you you began questioning the imams and uh, uh, the scholars and even the muslims uh, what i would like to uh, do is uh, let's go back a bit in your life when you were a child have you learned the quran by heart as um, many muslims do have you go to um, uh, did you go to a madrasa and uh, learn the quran yeah uh, were you normal uh, you or uh, devoted muslim and uh, going to the mosque and praying all kind can you explain that to our audience that they will know you know the background and uh, yeah yeah sure. your early life please um it's it's more like i was never a devout muslim my mm -hmm. family was never a devout muslim mm -hmm. we are uh we were pretty secular in our ways yeah we were very cultural muslims mm -hmm. it's like okay eid comes and then you celebrate yeah eid comes and then you celebrate yeah uh Muharram comes okay we're still living our lives mm -hmm. um suffer comes we're still living our lives yeah um what do you call it the hajj comes never 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 did hajj mm. good for you thankfully yeah thank never god <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I even yeah. had I had the opportunities to, to be honest, mm -hmm. with you, but yeah. I never did so for the very particular reason because I never resonated with the whole fact that people have to pay sub, a large sum of amount to a government of a country just to perform one sort of a religious act. Mm -hmm. So I question that a lot uh, to start off with. And uh, also, so it's uh, so I've learned the Quran. I've not yeah. memorized it. I've not learned it from heart. I've not done the house. Yeah. Uh, a, a teacher used to come at our home, uh, which mm. my parents paid for. Yeah. Don't know why. Yeah. But he taught me the Arabic, how to read the Arabic, how to yeah. write the Arabic, and how to speak. Yeah. Uh, and then he was the one okay telling me about the how how it would go how this word is like ah ba da ba yeah 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 so ha ha da yes it's not ha ha i'm looking at i'm like i'm like okay you know what my pronunciation i might not say sh sh this or this properly but excuse me just go with me yeah and even he had issues with me he was like your son speaks a lot like he he's really he's really um He's, he's too uh, straightforward. Mm -hmm. He's not, he's got no diplomacy, and I'm like my, my my parents looked at me and they were like, "You'll be you'll be a really good debater one day." Mm -hmm. But yeah, my mm -hmm. my parents were never oh, uh, some sort of religious fanatics. Mm -hmm. They were never religious extremists. My paternal my paternal like my mom's sorry my, my father's parents they never they were never so religious whatsoever. It's all about just cultural Muslims uh, just celebrating the, all the good things about it and that's it yeah and as for my maternals they were never ever devout muslims either apart from mm. my mom's mother mm -hmm. and her psycho family yeah. i'll put that as a true context they are actually psychotic yeah um so yeah but my mom's father he he was never religious but my mom's mom was mm. and in later on i'll tell you the whole thing about why they're so psychotic yeah so yep, yeah, all all of them have passed away. 
mm. and oh. so they had their so, Muslim burial, uh, you know, the Muslim burials and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then very young age, uh, around the, I, I think I was, I can't remember my whole and complete age, but uh, there was a funeral of my one of my family, um, about the extended family, mm. and he had an American wife. I've okay. spoken about this before mm -hmm. uh, in Hatun's channel, uh, mm -hmm. which is DCCI Ministry. Yeah. And she was American, so she was a Christian. She never converted to Islam. Uh, mm -hmm. Her brother, her husband died. But then she was well, the prayer started happening in English. And this was in UAE. Mm -hmm. And the prayer started happening uh, in English because there was a lot of like, uh, different Muslims who do not, did not know Arabic. So mm -hmm. everything was made sure everyone could understand. So English was a common language between us yeah. all. Mm -hmm. And she questioned the prayer, which was done by the Imam, uh, the Janazah, as you call them. Yeah. And you, she, the question, the question, the prayer that she questioned was, why are you, why are you, why are you asking for my, uh, for, why are you asking another beautiful, better wife for my husband in Jannah? Why am I oh. not enough? Mm -hmm. Wow. So you know that question when they come. Oh, yeah. for the man, if he, he needs to get hood in. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. 72 version. It does mm, not yeah. stay that you're 72 version woman or men. We don't know that yet. So let's yeah. just keep Muslims in the bay at that point. Mm. <laughs> so wow. he, she questioned it. And just because she questioned it, and I was young, uh, they brutally attacked her. Okay. Wow. Uh, she didn't have any family. So she was killed at the oh. very spot. Oh my goodness. Oh, because her, so she lost her husband first. And after that, they yes. pray he will have other wo woman. And, and when she, she questioned said, it. When she questioned, she questioned they it. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. So oh, it's she very sad. died in front of, uh, there was a crowd of 300 people. Oh, oh no, people. no. Yeah. That is a religion of peace, yeah? A religion of peace, isn't it? Because yeah. the imam started calling her, you, yeah. uh, you, uh, dirty, yes, it's you. Oh. I, I don't want to use the language, but you can imagine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Wow. So, wow. we are so I'm sorry, so sorry for uh, what the happened family right. attacked her, mm. extended family, uh, because she was the only sole Christian there. She was all by herself. She didn't have anyone else to protect oh, her. We're so sorry. And I wanted to go up to her to protect her, but my family kept me behind because they told oh. me if you did something here, yeah, they will they do something bad to you as well. Yeah. They're, they're doing to, to the family, right to, to the rest of the family. Yeah. And oh. I was young at that time, and I had more higher, higher moral standards. Than yeah. Those bloody Muslims did. Sorry for the language. Yeah. I'm yes. Them okay. The, 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 the ugly people. I'm the calling them people. the bloody Muslims. I'm not calling yeah. all Muslims bloody Muslims. Sorry yeah. for that. Yeah, mm. it's only those. So yes, mm. this was this was this angered me a lot. Wow. And then things calmed down, and about this whole death, nothing was reported because this happened in a Muslim country, yeah. in UAE. So wow, wow. Money is a money is a big thing, as you can imagine. Yeah, yeah. And money, it is a uh, also uh, on, on, on a on a culture yeah. as well so oh, no. yeah Killed because she, uh, she questioned she questioned the honor yeah. of islam so yeah, yeah. Mm. so you've got contact so you know you can get away with anything yeah and of course, yeah Muslim, so and no one yeah. was gonna say anything no, no. oh we're so, so sorry yes. for that yeah very oh, sad mm. very sad uh cape uh thank you so much for the super uh, super chat god bless you said thank you for uh, you people helping the world to be better place by you, uh, by uh, cafe. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for the coffee. Yeah. yeah, we'll buy that. God willing, and thank you so much for that. And God bless you. Please invite all your friends, guys, and especially if you know any Muslims, they need to come and listen. This is amazing, amazing testimony our brother is sharing here because so many Muslims they are going through what we went through, what our brother went our through, what his went through, yeah. the, the story is sharing with us. That's what we know. That's uh, for a lot of Muslims, maybe they are, they have seen that in, in their area or in front of them, but they are not acting straight away.
but God can use that in years later because um, Brother Francis, he was young at that time, but that was in his heart many, many years, thinking that woman who had been killed because just asking the question, you know. Yeah. It, it is sad. It is sad, brother, because in Islam you cannot ask a question. Don't no. ask a question. That's what Allah says. Uh, that was uh, between Muslims. Muslims cannot ask, you know, questions in between them. But when infidel asks their you know, um, uh, the, the question. It's even worse. Yeah, it's even worse. Yeah, that's why she yeah. may think she deserved killing, and that's not. Yeah. That, that's not right at all. But yeah, we're so sorry for what happened to that uh, poor lady that's and right. uh, how you felt as well at that moment. So what we see now here is uh, you have you've been uh, uh, you know uh, you have seen a lot of uh, uh, things happening into your life, and the Lord Himself was Hard awakening questions. you, and mm. you had a lot of questions. In some point, you fed up, you know, you went to a mosque, you throw away uh, from the mosque, yeah. another one, another one. So, yeah, carry on from there, please. Um, yeah, later on, how you, you know, you fed up with Islam. Why, when do you question, no, when you came to the point of, it's done now, I am finished with Islam. So, uh, finished Islam, uh, about in regards to what happened was, I, I, it was Ramadan. Mm -hmm. So, my mom was fasting. Yeah. Uh, my sister wasn't. Sorry, my sister was, yeah, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, and I told them, like, look, these are all the things we have read so far. Everything is done. Mm -hmm. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just say one thing now. Okay. We're leaving this cult. Wow. You're the we're drinking water. We're eating. We're mm -hmm. going to throw away everything in, uh, in this home, which affiliates to that cult. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just wow. throw throw away our Quran, throw all the uh, these uh, what do you call it? These beads that they use, uh, what sabi or whatsoever. Yeah. And then all the all the you know like these doors of Kaaba as you've made. Yeah, you know, like the picture is all. The yeah. decoration is all. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just give it. Just yeah. give it away. Decoration. Yeah. Literally yeah. just gave it away, and we were like, wow. no, you know what? We don't want anything like this. We're going to be fine. We will see what will happen to us. Wow. But when I was reading the Quran, I also, I also learned a lot of other things too about the, about the stories, uh, in the, in the Bible about, uh, the, in the Old Testament. Yeah. But then I was, I was sort of like reminded myself after leaving Islam because I started a journey where I became an ex-Muslim. Mm -hmm. But now it was just an ex Muslim. Mm. Wow. Seeing, okay, this is this is my time. I need to explore. I need to understand, or what I I want to be now. Mm. Because majority of the ex Muslims that I've spoken to, that I'm in touch with, they are the ones who uh, who are more atheists now. Because I give this example to a lot of people. And I, yeah. and I, mm. and I admire for them, I admire them for the fact that they left Islam. Yeah. So I've got nothing against them. It's their yeah. choice, their life. Yeah. They, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna compel someone to go into another religion from one to another. It's their choice. It's their personal choice. Mm. For me, uh, it's like, because if someone's holding your hand constantly, mm. someone's yeah. literally holding you all mm. all your life, mm. and then immediately it breaks free, you mm -hmm. just want to run away from everything else. Yes. You don't want to have anything sure. to do with anything. You yeah. don't want to go to any religion, and you just mm -hmm. want to stay safe. You just yeah. want to do your own thing, and you just want to live your life. The mm. things you could not do, you're able to do now. Yeah. Eat pork. Yes. Yep. Drink. Yep. Enjoy life. Mm. Go to clubs. Dance. Yep. Have, wow. make, make friends, normal mm. people, who you can go to dinners with, enjoy with, and go to a restaurant without thinking, mm. is this halal? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, isn't it? Yeah. Or, or, yeah. Or I'll, just have, I'll just have fish and chips there. But sorry, this can't be beer battered because I don't drink beer because I'm a Muslim. Look at me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. And they, can't, <laughs> they don't have to worry about these petty things, do mm. they? Yeah, 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 brother. Which is, I just want to say, why. yeah, mm. okay. Sorry. Carry on, carry on. I just want to say thank you so much for DW who said thank you so much, Christian TV, for bringing in Brother Francis. God bless you, your, your ministry, Brother Francis. Keep shining for Jesus. 
Amen. That's an encouragement. Thank you for the super chat, brother. God bless you. Yeah, brother, carry on. Yeah, yeah. Praise God. So, yeah, uh, I'm still in touch with a lot of ex-Muslims uh, who can actually, who have a safe haven in my home. Uh, mm. They can come to me, they can talk out their things, they can enjoy themselves. Mm. And this is why I'm really happy that I made friends during yeah. this time. And I helped them because it's an escape for them because they can't tell their families. That yeah. They're ex-Muslims because they still live with their families. They're not financially independent yet fully. Mm. And it's not really cheap uh, in UK to just move out and yeah. go anywhere. Things, yeah, yeah. things can get really hard if you're not fully financially stable yet. Yeah. And hence why, so I, I, I make, make, make sure that they can come to me and they can went out their aggression. Mm -hmm. They don't have to worry about, or oh, if they say this, what will happen? So, so, so what why, this is why. Yeah, brother, Sorry? that's amazing, amazing. And uh, your testimony is so amazing. And I, we pray many people to hear this testimony. Guys, share and God to use in, in, in his way, in a good way. In Jesus' mighty name, many people will come out from the dark. These testimonies, you know, the testimonies is so good. It is what the Lord has done for you. But in, if you go back, when you tell your family and said, that's it, no more Islam. We live yeah. in, we just throw in everything we have here. We don't want to follow this cult anymore. Your sister and your mother, how they react? Are they said, yes, so we are on board, or they said no we don't want to do that no my my mom took a she was like what yeah i was like yeah <laughs> mom and she, she was fasting she was fasting fasting she was fasting that time she yeah. was fasting she yeah was yeah fasting i'm like mom, yeah we're done with this with this thing yeah no this this muhammad this allah the moon god or uh or this or this person no no, this is not happening in our home now. We we are done with this. Mm -hmm. She was like, "What?" I was like, "Yes." Even my sister, because we were reading all of this together. Yeah, Even my sister were collaborating a lot together yeah. in regards mm -hmm. to learning all this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but then I've got a younger brother, but mm -hmm. he's non-verbal. Yeah. So obviously, may Jesus protect him. Mm -hmm. uh, he does not know. He does not understand. He's not. He, he can't verbalize. Yeah. yeah. So, which is why, for him, he's already he's already in the safety of God. Oh yeah. Praise God. So, because he doesn't have a he doesn't have the uh, have the capacity to read the Bible or anything or pray properly. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't have that capacity. Yeah. So, for 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 Lord's hand, he is. But at least we look after him. Mm. But my sister, my mom, and uh, and me, we three were like, okay. We're done with this. We just wrapped everything up, and I wow. just yeah. read this, <laughs> yeah. and you will leave this. I'm telling you. And yeah. when she read, that she oh. has half a brain because she's deficient in mind, yeah. and yeah. her half and her testimony is half of as of a man. Hmm. So I think. What was what was she reading that time? And uh, you showed her to read. Yeah, she. Right? Yeah. That's what they said. Yeah. Yeah, I think, brother, and because you are a man, you know, the Muslims mostly they respect a lot uh, their boys, you know, yeah. more than the girls. Boys are always above, you know, they just respect, they follow. And I wish my family, when I tell them I left Islam and now I'm Christian, I thought they would say the same thing like you, they were welcoming me and following me and dropping <laughs> yeah. Islam. It was the other way around, brother. Uh, my so, when you that, um, yeah. yeah, what you yeah. showed your mother was uh, how Islam is degrading the woman, the woman and uh, yeah. you know making uh, the, the boys and men above, yeah. uh, you know above them and so yeah. But because my and my so. mom was sickened by that because the fact of so imagine yeah uh, because my mom said as well. So if a woman is raped, mm -hmm. God bless her. She has wow. got nothing wrong there. She's not done anything wrong there. Yeah. So she has to take four bloody witnesses yeah to prove that she was raped or she mm. has to go to a court and she she needs and there should be two women one alongside with her in order for the testament to be whole and and she is quite an educated woman 
She's not like yeah. one of those idiotic women that you see around the streets, like Muslim women that just don't even know how to speak English in this country, mm. and yeah. just like literally, uh, just oh, fun. I'm just, I, I just need to, I just need to be all Muslim. I just need to wear this, and I need to mm. cook, and need yeah. to be nice to my, uh, to men in the house, and that's it. Mm. I'm sorry, but no, my mom wasn't like that. Thankfully, my mm. mom oh, God. gave us good education. My mom <laughs> made sure that we all were. We were, we were all quite uh, liberated in our brains. We were not mm. kept in some sort of a cage constantly. Mm. Wow. So this wow. is why Praise we were God. open. We could do everything, anything we want to. Wow. My mom would, would never stop me if I said, okay, mom, like even when I was a Muslim, so you can imagine. So I, 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 I used to go out and I used to come back home around 3, 4 a.m. Uh, uh, being drunk or something in, in those early years, we all do it. Eh? Yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. Of Muslims would do that. Too. A lot of Muslims do. But a lot of Muslim Somalis do. Yeah, they don't say that. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. they do it, eh? and then and then mom would just say it, even though she even though she was Muslim, she wouldn't be like, "Oh my God, oh you should be ashamed." <laughs> you know, uh, what's Allah gonna say? What's this? Yeah. No, she never did such thing. She was like, yeah. "Well, if you're enjoying this life, it's mm. it's this it's this late teens." It's just yeah. like early 20s. So, of course, yeah. Yeah. people do such things. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, a lot of Muslims are going to say, well, uh, there we go. Never really was a Muslim, but hey ho, uh, yeah. you want a question? Here I am. Yeah. 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 They can ask you questions, guys. Even if you have questions, brothers and sisters, the Muslims, anyone, anyone who has questions, feel free and uh, put on your question here because we want to interact yeah brother this yeah. is amazing amazing testimony yeah yes brother we enjoy it. So, yeah we enjoy, <laughs> we enjoy it of so course much. yeah yeah um thank you so much you you your sister your mother you decided and you know ramadan time fasting time that you renounce islam and that's done Just leave, yeah so it is done and uh what about the journey to christianity yeah now? how did you yeah hear? the the best part is uh, beginning now yeah yeah mm, tell us please the best yeah part, uh, so yeah. the beginning of the Christianity was me uh, because I because when I read Quran, uh, I read a lot about Jesus being mentioned a lot many times. Yeah. Uh, but it's in Islamic scripture it would be called Isa. Yes. Isa. So Isa gives life. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking at that. I I'm like okay. So Isa gives life. Uh, Isa is the word of God. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Isa is the word of God. Uh, Isa is sinless. Yes. Every other prophet has sinned, but Isa yeah. is sinless. I'm like, okay. Yeah. So who is Isa? So I already knew Isa wow. in Islam and Jesus in Christianity. So yeah. they were pretty much the same, but it was a demented sort of version that Muhammad created of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Is who's now Isa. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing about uh, other bits and pieces, so you can imagine. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this yeah. is <laughs> so the funniest thing was uh, me started looking into Christianity in regards to okay, I need to I need to find more about Christianity. I need to learn about this religion now. Mm. Uh, yeah. Brother, before you move on, I would love to um, encourage our uh, audiences, especially Christian brothers and sisters. Uh, you know, many of many of us or many of uh, uh, Christian uh, back, background believers, Christian background believers, they think Isa uh, that uh, Muslims believe and Jesus we believe are the same. Some of them may think so. Yeah. So we and uh, um, our brother Francis, who has experience in Islam and studied Islam and know Christianity right now, we will show you and Francis will show you how different this you know to uh, yeah. uh, 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 Jesus and Isa are very different and Muslims if you see them they will say oh, we love Jesus because he is our prophet we love more than you <laughs> and something like that so please yeah you carry on and explain to them you know the difference between Isa in Islam and Jesus in Christianity and the way you've seen uh, all things clearly <laughs> Isa yeah um Never done any miracles. Yeah. Okay. But then Quran itself states, uh, made a clay, uh, made a bird out of a clay, and then gave life to it. Yeah. But he said never made any miracles. 
<laughs> contradictions there. Eh? Yes. Typical. Yeah. Yeah. And then came in regards to the word of God. When I asked, uh, when I asked a Muslim, I asked him, like, could you do me a favor? And because I, I was ex-Muslim at this time, so mm. I don't want to be ostracized mm -hmm. too much because I was already too ostracized. I was already banned from a lot of mosques. Yeah. <laughs> Which was fun. <laughs> so literally I'm banned. So imagine, imagine yeah. my shock. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I was banned in regards to asking questions. So I yes. asked, um, thankfully, a Muslim Muslim friend mm. to go and ask me. Uh, ask this, ask anyone. He's the word of God. What does it? What does it mean? He is mm -hmm. the word of God. Uh, well, you you know, like he's gonna like brother. You you know he's gonna come back in near the end of times. Yeah. And so. It's 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 just relating to that. I'm like, yeah, sure it is, of course mm -hmm. it is, and he even couldn't get the proper answer because a lot of people just diverted because you know the art of refabrication. Yeah. In Islam is massive, mm -hmm. so this is why I was like, okay, I'm not gonna get anywhere from these people, so I would have to go to churches. Okay. So a lot of, met a lot of Christians, but as uh, people call them here. The Sunday club, Sunday church club. Mm -hmm. uh, go to the church on every Sunday. Have no idea about Christianity, but go to church Sunday. Um, afterwards, we'll drink the tea and coffee and gossip and like, oh, did you hear about this Martha that this next door? Wow. Did you see Paul bought this tree next door? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so the Sunday club. Mm -hmm. But I never got. Uh, I never got to the point where I was like, okay. I'm not getting anywhere here then. So that's, that's when I, that's when I started just sitting in the church and just listening to whatever was being preached. I, I, I stood up with them, did all the actions with them as they do. Mm. And okay. Learned. Okay. This is what Jesus says. This is what Jesus uh, messages. Uh, this is the gospel message sometimes. Fair play. Uh, then, but there was, there was a massive thing that happened, uh, to me that there was, a, there was just a normal person one day walking and I don't know what happened. And this happened at, uh, this happened in London Parliament Square. Mm -hmm. Uh, the lady just turned out from nowhere and just said, my life will, my life will change because she, oh. because Jesus, Jesus changes everyone. Okay. Yeah. It's that sort of a context. And that, and that really, really turned out to be true mm -hmm. because at that time, because I was, I was so jumbled up in gaining so much knowledge about Islam mm -hmm. and then leaving it mm -hmm. and then also gaining a different knowledge about apostasy mm -hmm. about, okay, now my life is in danger. Yeah. So that's when I started going to Speaker's Corner two years ago. Yeah. Uh, to learn and to converse with some moderate Muslims, mm -hmm. which was another bad idea, but I did not know. You learn from yeah. mistakes. Yeah. Uh, so I started going up to a few Muslims and I started asking them about why, why do we need to kill apostates? Why, mm. what, what have they done wrong? They've just left mm -hmm. the religion. Yeah. yeah. They're still, they're still human beings. Yeah. They're still your God's creation, but don't know how the word came out to many people that I was an ex Muslim. Uh, and that's when I seriously received my threats. Hmm. Actual oh, yes, threats where people were, people started following me. Hmm. Uh, if I was wow. going back home, uh, couldn't take the bus, uh, had to go to underground, constantly change trains. Because mm. somebody follow, they would mm. get off. I would get wow. off. And I would immediately know what's happening. These are the sort of things that started happening. And then I was like, okay, it's time for me to move away from here, go incognito, mm. go, go a bit. Uh, mm. And then maybe learn myself, understand the whole, the whole yeah. concept. Yeah. Mm. Because at the end of the day, who would want to risk their life? And being an ex-Muslim, you don't particularly have much of a courage left 
after mm. the courage you have shown in the face of a lot of people, like in my case. And hence why I decided, okay, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna learn everything by myself. See what I can do. And this is this is why yeah. uh, I did not I it I did not start reading the Bible. I did not start reading the Gospel. I just I just got the the hinge of how Jesus uh, what do you call it? He cured a lot of people. He mm -hmm. has done yeah. a lot of things. Yeah. And he has he has fed people, and the yeah. and the bread would not uh, and the bread would not finish. Mm -hmm. They'll be left. Yeah. I would go. To, I, I would. I would go. And just, but just like, give give it a thought and be go in this go in this whole more more of thought and hmm. a trance and be hmm. like, okay, I need to I need to isolate myself and see where does that lead me. Yeah. I was thinking. I started thinking about what the woman said to me in regards to how Jesus will change my life because I was really getting depressed i was too weak uh my my state of eating everything else just was diminished i i didn't i didn't have energy to do anything whatsoever but then i started holding myself back and thought that mm. you know i need to i need to get up i need to do start mm. i need to start something mm. yeah and i started reading i, I started just going to churches majority of different places mm. I started, uh, started asking some certain questions. Okay, explain to me who Jesus is. Mm -hmm. Got a different answers. Yeah. But then one, uh, what do you call it? One church that I went to, which I've also explained in my testimony in the other places. Uh, one church that I went to because we need to pray the evil away. We need to. If someone slaps you on on your other on your first cheek, you need to give your other cheek. Mm. Yeah, I was like, that's not the concept that I've grown up with. I'm sorry, in in Middle East, <laughs> in in Southeast Asia, in Far East Asia, mm. have you learned? Have you have you do you know the ways of of living? Even in Somalia or even yeah. in Africa, do you know yeah. the ways yeah. of living? Yeah, <laughs> like pray this evil away. What are you on about? What what earth do you live in? Yeah, and they were like, "What do you What do you mean?" I'm like, "Excuse me, but you need to understand. There's literally people out there in Friday mosque in in the Friday Friday prayer, right? Yeah, during those Friday prayer, they would abuse every single person. They would abuse all the all all the non-Muslims, and yeah. then you guys are here, all all love and everything. But then you're also saying, uh, pray the evil away." I'm like. Some evil need to be combated, mm. <laughs> and then I started speaking about okay, me being an ex-Muslim, me and just uh, me not mo me just completely defiling that religion. But then it didn't go, it didn't resonate with the with the priest over there, or the pastor. Yeah, and he told me to leave. My goodness, I was like, okay, that's fine. So, I will horrible. leave. Mm. Yeah. Uh, if you because you because you 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 don't want to talk to me, you don't mm. want to listen to me, you, you or all you're doing is like just just your own thing. Fair play, good. I will never come back here. I'm leaving. Thank you very yeah. much. I've been thrown out of Mars. You just requested me to leave. It's a lot more polite than I've ever seen. So thank mm. you very much for that. Left, then side we are then stop going to the churches and just start reading online, just online mm. stuff. Yeah, about Jesus, a lot about testimonies, a lot about in regards to people, YouTube videos, mm -hmm. and that really helped me. Yeah, uh, start watching uh, a lot of different places. Like, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention uh, the biggest part of my life that leaving Islam was also uh, David Wood. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. David Wood. Apologetics. Yes, uh, yes, I'm David Wood. Yeah. I'm making a project. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shimon, yeah. yeah. Sam Shimon, yeah. Uh, Christian uh, Prince. Oh, God. Hatun Tash. Hatun Tash, yeah. yeah. Wow. Amazing people. Circle films. I was yes. watching yeah. all those videos alongside too. Uh, yeah. yeah. So that was also something. But then Christian Prince, do you watch Christian Prince? Christian Prince oh, as yeah. well. I, I came to know about Christian Prince 
just yeah. with uh, just when I became Christian. Okay. Wow. So that, unfortunately, I could not learn about him before, but uh, but his uh, his. His his tactics are amazing as well. It's I love amazing. the way he does Zachary Knight impression. That is one. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, we all love yeah. him. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So, in so that hence why uh, I started learning about Christianity through these people as well through watching them. Yeah, and that's where it got uh, it got to the point. I was like, okay, I need to. So something you know, some something like in your consciousness tells you. I think this is for you. Mm-hmm. Mm. So that's why nobody was there. I didn't have any pastors around me. I didn't have any Christians around me. I was mm. just at home myself. And then I was like, okay, if you're hearing me, uh, accept me as one of your followers. Mm. That was it. Did not know how to pray. Did not know mm. how to uh, get into Christianity like the whole fully formed way. Like how many people would go to churches and start, mm. you know, start getting into Christian Christianity, the Christian faith themselves. Yeah, I was I was never like that. I just I just I just said, Lord, accept me. That was it. That's and the that best the most prayer. Most sleep I ever had at that night. Wow. And my life yes. turned from Amazing. down to up. Praise Jesus. Amazing. Praise yes. Jesus, wow. brother. That's the Lord who saves you. You know, it's not a special uh, formula. It is like exactly. the way you just cry out to God and just call Jesus, take me, just be my Lord and Savior and to repent. And you did amazing, amazing, brother, just giving your life to Jesus. My God bless you. That's so Thank good, you so, so amazing. You yeah. know, uh, the, the word already was uh, planted into your heart. Yeah. You know, when you met this lady who said, you know, my life didn't change because I met Jesus. Yeah. And you took that into your heart as well. And, uh, you know, following up with that, the Lord was working in your working heart in as heaven. well. Yeah. So it, it is so amazing. And uh, this comment here, in Jesus' name, love to all. Yes. And he loves all. Yeah. And he is seeking yeah. every uh, individual who is out there to be saved. So I'm so great. I'm, uh, uh, you know, I'm so happy that uh, you get saved um, just knowing Jesus first. And yeah, it's so amazing. It yeah. is It is wow. amazing. But also, um, guys, if, you, if any ex-Muslim comes to your church, please welcome them. It is so sad here and you know you go some church and they, you have to leave they will tell you to leave because you left Islam and you have a questions and they cannot answer but praise God for me I had a, an, uh, I was different so blessed yeah. different different thing because the first church I enter brother until now we stay in same church 17 years ago that. when I left Islam the first church I went that was the first the Lord lead me to that church and I stayed yeah. same church same church 17 years later going to the same church so praise god they become mother and father and, and family for me and i am yes. so glad for that and thank jesus for that but i pray each and every church in the world around the world wherever they are to be the same like our church or to be same like jesus because jesus welcomes everyone mm. he'd never send the anyone and say go away you know even the sinners they have to come. Even those who persecute Jesus said, Father, forgive because they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. How can you say someone, oh, go, go, leave because you're asking questions or this and that. I'm so sorry, brother, what happened, but the Lord will provide you nice church, nice, Absolutely. godly. Yeah. Biblical church in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. And we will we will help you even if you don't find yet. We can no, help no, no. you. I, I, I actually come forward. I'm, I'm going to come forward and I've actually found yes. you. You yeah, found the yeah. church, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. Brother, I want to just go back as well, another thing, about, sure. you know, the threat. Guys, listen here. We are ex-Muslims. We've been threatened by society. You know, the Muslims, some Muslims, not all of them, thank God. But they're after us because we said we left Islam. Imagine in a speaker's corner, on a speaker's corner. Speaker's corner, yeah, speaker's yeah. corner it's not Saudi Arabia, it's not Somalia, it's not Sharia yeah. country. So how that come, a speaker's corner, want to, the people want to make that speaker's corner, Sharia corner, and they just justify Threat themselves and, and threaten uh, you because you left you Islam. Yeah. They're preaching Islam all the time. But if you say, we left Islam, they, they will attack you straight away. That's very, very bad. Shame mm -hmm. on them. Yeah. I, I'm so sorry what happened with that. But yeah, people has to know what's going on in London, you know, 
in Speaker's Corner in the West. Yeah, Speaker's Corner is a Sharia Corner. Sharia uh, Corner, yeah. People will just give, all the Dawah guys will just go and just give their Dawah as much as possible. But I just, I just wish they would also tell, well, I'm sorry, but if you come into our religion, we are proud of that. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah proud if you that. try leaving it, yeah, you yeah. Can you? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I wish yeah. you start telling these sort of things, and let's see how many, how many, how many number of non-believers become Muslims. Let's see. Yeah. It yeah. would be a completely different picture, then, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 That, that's why. Uh, but then, uh, thanks to Apostle Prophet as well, I would thank him so much for all yeah. the stuff that he does too. Yes. Um, his 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 work his his passion is amazing and yeah. you know why people say why are ex muslims so obsessed with islam mm -hmm. well i'm sorry but islam's obsessed with us yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they're after they us. are the ones obsessed with us they're the ones who want to kill us they're the ones who want to get rid of us they're mm -hmm. the ones who we are we are the worst and worst of all yeah because because with us we know the thing and then we can explain to other people of what we really what this religion really is this is why they're more scared of us yeah mm. this is why muhammad was like kill people who leave because because i'm sorry but the cultist the cult leader did not want other people to uh leave because it will expose him yeah, yeah. so yeah exactly I, yeah. I i i'm just glad i will just pray for that woman right now mm in live while people are watching so people can also pray with me yeah we thank the lord for that jewish woman to cook him poison food and then literally his death came mm. thank god for that woman thank god mm. and i'm talking about that woman it's about the death of muhammad yeah yeah get yeah. by a jewish woman congratulations it's like my aorta has been cut off. That's what he said to Aisha at the last days, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what did That's... he say? If I'm a false prophet, it'll be like my aorta has cut off. Yeah, mm -hmm. that yeah, was his own prophecy. prophecy. One of his prophecy did come true. Let's just say yeah. that. That's the one, yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. give him that sort of query. Yeah. <laughs> That's the prophecy come true for yeah. his prophecy. Exactly. The yeah. only prophecy. The only wow. prophecy and it will come true, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, brother so. Francis, thank you very much for sharing this testimony with us. It's so amazing and so touching, and I believe so it has much. touched many people's heart right now. And those who just joined us, please, uh, if you are new to our channel, subscribe yes. to our YouTube channel and yes. hit the bell so you don't miss uh, uh, the notification from Somali Christian TV. There was yeah. a lot of questions earlier, but guys, sure. please, if you if you write it now again or just post again one by one, that would be so good, and just put on. Francis, if you want to ask Francis, also, at, also Francis. At, at Somal Christian, or at Somal Christian TV, but Francis, yeah. uh, his end question you want, now is the time, please uh, yeah, do. Sure. Do, do uh, it, yeah. yeah, Brother Francis, you left Islam and you became a believer now. You are a believer, thank God. Uh, I would like to ask you, you know, the, uh, the change in your life, you know, spiritual life. You know, in, uh, in Islam, uh, you pray, you fast, uh, but you have no connection with your Heavenly Father. Um, in Christianity, it's very different. So can you tell us uh, the, the change in your life spiritually and how you feel right now? Because what I'm saying this is, when I was Muslim, I was called a slave of Allah. But when I am a follower of Christ now, I'm called a child of God. That's uh, just, yeah. the, you know, the feeling I have right now and uh, the communication. We're not slave and, anymore. No, we're, we're not, not slave anymore. Yeah. <laughs> So please, can you can you tell us something change like that way in you know, your life? Please? Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah, and I so as soon as Jesus yeah. came into my life, yeah. Yeah. things got a lot better for me. I yeah. ex I excelled in a lot of things. I started developing myself. I mm. started going to gym. Mm -hmm. Started become active. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, started started making myself more out there, mm. and sort of like started speaking to a lot of different Christians. Start, start going to uh, different debates about in regard to religion. Uh, so a lot of good things did happen to me, but then also in regards to how I bless living in a, a living in a beautiful place. Mm. The blessings of God uh, has 
you know, given me so much fruit in my life. And yeah, that's which I'm so thankful for. Yeah. Like, Amen. I, 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 I cannot, I cannot give, give, uh, initiate all the words. Uh, I cannot, I cannot uh, verbalize them completely, but I would yeah. say a lot has happened. And thank God for that, that it's all happening. And I hope by the grace of God, more things will come forward. And I pray for everyone uh, that may God blesses them. May God bless the knowledge. Yeah, I amen. pray for all the ex Muslims as well. That may God yeah. give them uh, give them that independence mm -hmm. that they can actually be themselves or who they want to be, and mm -hmm. not live in constant fear. Yeah, just because of what they've done. And then recently, I have started reading the Bible. Yeah. So I I've I started with the Old Testament. So I've studied the Genesis. I'm on Exodus. Uh, in the, the Old New Testament. I've studied the Gospel of Matthew. So yes, I've yeah. got a question here. I yeah, you have a question. Yeah, please. Before you answer that, brother, I just want to say thank you for the super chat. King Ed said thank you, Somali Christian TV, for the hard work you are doing. Keep the uh, keep the fire burning. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' yeah, name. Thank you, thank you for the super chat. God bless you, brother. Yeah, go ahead, uh, brother Debit, whom we love. One of our moderators here. All the moderators, we say hi to you. Yeah, we love yeah. you so much. And yeah, he just this question, if you want to read and answer, please. Right. That would what be is your next goal? So my next goal is, um, are you planning to open a YouTube channel to reach out to Muslims, ex-Muslims and Christians? And it's like, I'm curious. Yes. Yeah, so my curious, yeah, your curiosity is going to come uh, come to an end. So yeah. I am planning to open a YouTube channel and I'm planning to, uh, because I'm already going to Speakers Corner every Sunday. Mm -hmm. So I am already happy to converse with many people, but yeah. I would keep away from certain Dawagandas for sure, because yeah. I know what they're going to do. Yeah. Uh, they will put post, post about me and they will definitely just try to make me out that I was never a Muslim. So mm. refuting and arguing with those sort of people is not my thing. I would rather yeah. have a face-to-face -face conversation with someone. So yes, yeah. YouTube channel is coming up. I am planning yeah. that properly. I am preparing for it, and I'm also preparing to bring in guests, and and also give some courage to ex-Muslims yeah. out there. To yeah. please, don't you don't need to show your face. You can be anything, mm -hmm. yeah. but just just remember, be who you are. Yes, and and be the best version of yourself. Yeah, do not fall for the trap that you anything can happen. All these threats will come in. Literally today, as I, uh, before I was mentioning before we went live, a little yeah. friend of mine literally just said, "If he wasn't, uh, if he, if if I wasn't in this country, and I was back where he is, mm. I would be. He would shoot me." And this happened today, and he called. Yeah, me. I'm so sorry, and brother. This was one I'm of so my sorry. friends that I thought was a friend. Mm. Yeah, just brother. Saw and. <laughs> I'm so sorry, brother. I know how you're feeling right now because my own mother said if she see me, she will kill me with a, in her own hand. I know how horrible it will be. Like from right. your family, from your friends, from the loved one starting threatening you and be after you. I know that because I, we are living on that in many, many years, 17 years. I still do not see my family. I still love them, I still praying for them. Yeah. But that's the, the last word they said. If we see you, we will kill you. So, but we know Sorry the one who's in you, the one who's in you is greater than the one is in them. And they cannot yeah. kill you. Jesus said, fear not. Don't have any fear of people who can just kill the body. They cannot kill yeah. your soul and so, because yeah. you, your soul will be with the Lord forever. And this, if you this, live or die, you are for the Lord. Jesus is with you, always with you. Yeah. This was this is what gave me courage to go to Speaker's Corner again. I was yeah. like, okay. Yeah. Uh, they, they, can, they can do anything to me, but they can't do anything to my soul. So yeah. Yeah, so they hard. can't. They can't. And the Lord is with you, brother. I'm so sorry, but fear not. Fear not, oh, of course, because the Lord is with you, you. You get them all. I get them all the time. So this like it's like another thing that it's like burning to me. I'm like, okay, yeah, another one, another yeah, one another in the one. chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, happy frenzy. Yeah. Uh, yes, to ask him. Where yeah. is Brother Francis from originally? I'm sorry, but that is something I I would not like to disclose for now for the very particular reason, as you can imagine. But I come from the um, I come from a Middle Eastern background, mm -hmm. so. 
that is something I would enough. say. Yeah. yeah, that's enough uh, because uh, your safety is number one. Yeah. You share how much you can and yeah, we have to be just for be be wise. The Lord said that be wise. Yeah. So another question here. Uh, you want to say something? Yeah, I just want to add um, uh, some comment on uh, uh, your vision and uh, uh, what you want to uh, what you want to do in, uh, in your life yeah um right. yeah that is uh, amazing uh, vision and we support you we stand with you and you know yes. and what i want to add is fear no evil hmm. yeah fear yeah. is not in you fear is not in the believers fear uh, you know it's out of us because uh, the uh, god has given us a spirit of you know love power and um, uh, self sound he doesn't give yeah. us a spirit of fear mm. so it's not for us so men, but the, the devil wants us to, to put that fear in our life, but it's not for us. So be encouraged, fear no evil, because it, it never come to, uh, to you at all. So we will stand with you, we will support you. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's a great thing because of online working and uh, YouTube and you know social media, it's a big platform nowadays and yeah. you can reach many and uh, you transform their life and uh, we we pray yeah. for you as well yeah we, we pray you. for you, you so and we stand b beside you and when you have the channel please yeah like come back this. yeah and yeah tell send us and, and uh, we yeah. will share the channel Definitely. with all our, our, our viewers yes Thank you so much for that. yeah god bless you brother sister and uh, hidden, hidden rose is asking you family as well if they also become a christian convert to uh, Islam. so my family my mom uh is still into christianity hallelujah uh, my sister she's reading about it. we have a lot of debates about this uh but she's already married so the influence of the atheist husband and mm. the influence of me so it's a very jumbled up so it's her decision but hopefully if uh, lord allows she'll turn yeah mm. Amen. So, yeah, uh, so brother, I that. just want to ask you a question before other people are writing. Um, we're still waiting. Guys, still you have a time. You can just put on your questions here. And brother, you know, most of the us, like us come from Somali background, you know, uh, ex-Muslims who left Islam and now Christians and Somalis. The Somalis always accuse us. And first of all, if you left Islam because you get paid, you get visa or the church oh, yeah. or, the, or the or Jewish give you. Is that also oh, yeah. in your case? Jews did you get? Did you yeah. hear that? Did you hear those things? Oh, yeah, I, I'm. Uh, I, apparently, I'm. I'm a Jewish spy. Apparently, <laughs> all the way from Israel. They call you that. <laughs> all the I way know, from Israel. Brilliant. I was like, I would. Be, I would love to do that job if I could be paid <laughs> to do this. That would be amazing. Yeah. But yeah. no, sadly, no. Uh, no Jewish person has sent me. Uh, no lefty George Soros people like have funded me to do all this. I'm sorry, but it's nothing like that. Sorry yeah. to uh, yeah. let you all down, but sorry, Muslims, there's, mm -hmm. yeah. there's no money there. Yeah, no. and no, no visa, no visa, no passport. Oh, yeah, of yeah? Course, no visa. <laughs> <laughs> I always think, where's the money? You know, they always say, oh, you get money from the, from oh, the yeah. church, from the Jewish, all the time. They just accusing, accusing, accusing. And brother, the now when they that find is, out, uh, yeah, yes. that's the way uh, they um, uh, convert, you know, people to to Islam, to Islam because yeah. they use money. They to give convert. money, yeah, yeah. just yeah, and uh, you know, to become uh, to become uh, a Muslim. So maybe that is what they use, and they projected that to Christians as well, and they think it is. Uh, well, when it comes to um, uh, to Christianity, it's wrong thing. But when it comes to them, it is good thing to do because they say, you know, we are bringing people to to Allah, and uh, that's allowed yeah. them to do. But it is uh, it is wrong. And uh, yeah, guys, she knows, if you can share even what happened, you know, a few years ago, someone contacted us from Saudi Arabia, a Somali woman, and she knew a sheikh, a Saudi man who was rich, and she said, and ask how much you want. Do you want one million, two million, whatever? Tell us how much you need and stop what you're doing. Like close down Somali Christian TV because okay. they're here. We opened actual television, Sheena and I, by the grace of God, a few years ago in Africa and also in Scandinavia now, our program being uh, broadcasted. And she would say, she said, if you stop all that, uh, we're going to pay you. Can you believe that? And just come back to Islam. <laughs> Ask how much money you need. You will be famous, you know, even if you say, oh, you left Christianity, you become Christian, leave Christianity and come back to Islam. They said they will make you famous. Our channel will be like millions, millions of people will view and we will be like rich. They give you so much money. 
if we, whatever we need it. And we said, no, we are not for sale. Even if you come and kill us, we never, not turn them back to us. Uh, for wow. us, we follow Jesus Christ. And you know, that's what they're doing to us, but they are doing other way around. They will say, or they, they, they will say, oh, you get money, you get money. And later on, they will ask you, we will give you money, come back to Islam. Yeah. Well, yes, what, uh, is what is that? Which one? Which one is the right? And yeah. also to add the whole thing, you know, the saddest part is in regards yeah. to all of this. Yeah. It's like when you go to shops, so supposedly uh, the shops that you go to, you want to purchase something and you see mm. a Muslim staff and you know they're working and stuff. But you know, being an expert in how how things can be, you have to be very careful and cautious constantly yeah. in this country as well. So a Muslim staffs there, you don't know she might know someone, she might know my face, she might act uh, all nice to me, but she might remember who I am. And you have to supporting your bur purchase a gift. Or you get going mm. any any nice shop. You have to mm. collect your points. You have to give your postcode. Yeah, yeah. Or, or your full name and your postcode place and stuff. And then when you're giving it, you know how sad this is that when you know it's a Muslim stuff and you kind of keep away from that. Mm. Yeah. Because you don't want to buy that thing, and then yeah. you make up some sort of an excuse and say, "Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm just looking around." This is a sad reality that so many of us live what? in. Because wow. we do not know who that person is. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Anyone could give an information. One of that person might know someone. And your information one is once it's leaked. Mm. And then you have to change homes. Then this is gonna happen. That's gonna happen. This is gonna happen. And then, and then what? Your life's all in all, always in trouble. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. So this is the saddest reality that we live in this country and we have to act like this. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why is that? Yeah, because, because of uh, apostasy, you know, um, anyone who left Islam must be killed or must be shunned from the We're society. We're proud of so, that, like yeah, I, that, that was said. Yeah, that's yeah. what they're doing. But your safety, our safety and security is uh, more important. And yeah. when you yeah. see such a thing, you have to be wise and act in good way, act yeah, in you know, exactly. favor of yourself. So don't because put yourself in danger. Against, yeah. Hmm? Sorry, I've got nothing yeah. against those Muslims working in those shops anyways, because they're working, they're hard working, but... But it's yeah. sad, isn't it? It's yeah, like, but... it's like, okay, people like Ali Dava, he's proud of that. Yes. Fine, he's yeah. proud of that. Fine, Muhammad Hijab might be proud of that. Fine, yeah. there might be so many other Muslims who are so proud of all these things. Yeah. Fine. You want to be proud of that, but, but then they don't see the point here. Why yeah. so many Afghan people, Muslims from Afghanistan, want to leave when Taliban took over and the Sharia yeah. law was going to come yeah. over? Why were they leaving? Why were they... Why were people falling off the planes? Even they want to die. Said they, yeah, Rather even, even Taliban said themselves, we mm. heard that. Taliban yeah. themselves were like, oh, uh, they're leaving because they don't want to live here because this is a poor country. Okay, another point no. is, you would bring so much extremism that even yeah. those men who want to send their girls to school, mm. what, would, what would you do to those men? Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is this is the question that they need to be asked. I do not believe in regards to I need to I need to act like Ali Dawa. Like there is a girl called Infidel Noodle and he would buy chicken noodles and make make stupid videos like this. You don't have to act like this. I can converse with him like an adult. No. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, he, he he came to me at Speaker's Corner. And he said he would like to have a discussion. He was nice to me and I was nice back to him. There was no mm. animosity there. But the thing is, yeah. I would like to have a real discussion where we can both act like adults and have a nice conversation. Not like throwing uh, names at each other or, or starting arguing. Because, our, because what's the point in that? If, you, if he's proud of that, fine. But then you're also going to listen to my side of argument. You, you've portrayed your video. Now yeah. there's a point where someone else is going to come up and speak to you and refute your arguments. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But then, yes. but then the tactics yeah. is something that we need to be very very. very yes, honest. yeah. <laughs> Yes, brother. Thank you so much. AC, thank you so much for the super chat. God bless you. Said God bless uh, God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 That I think we have another question here. I don't know. Dino is asking a question. Yeah. 
brother. Can you see the question? Yes. Yes. So Gino, uh, what was my view or perspective on Christians or Christianity before converting to Islam? So my perspective and my views on Christians were not any different than, uh, what do you call it, as a moderate Muslim or as a cultural Muslim. I yeah. always respected every other religion. I had nothing against them. Uh, I never believed that we have to pray against anyone who is not a Muslim. They might be bad in their own ways because every other religion has good and bad. I was taught that from the start. Good and bad belongs in everything. Yeah. Islam, uh, Christianity, uh, Judaism, Buddhism, Hinduism, everything has good and bad. So I was always nice to Christians. I was also always nice to the Jewish people, Hindus that I know, Buddhists, atheists. I don't care because they are at the end of the day a human being first. The religion is not stamped on your face. That if uh, there's a cross there or there's a there's a, a symbol of Muslim uh, of uh, Islam there or this symbol of uh, some sort of another sect there, so we need to understand this as well. So that's why people will say, okay, but you pray against the Christians. So that yeah, uh, happy frenzy yeah. as we yes. go on they mock the ex-Muslim, calling them fake. Yes, they do call ex-Muslim calling them fake for the very reason because they are. Uh, it's like it's like knowing that someone's an ex-Muslim. It's too hard for them mm -hmm. because yeah. they would have to explain this hmm. to the people they want to bring in uh, in order in order to accumulate more Muslims. This is a hindrance to the whole factor. Yeah. Which is why they would mock the ex-Muslim, calling them fake, because they don't want to lose that crowd of non-believers, or especially the left left-wing white people mm -hmm. yeah. who would just who would just be like everything is fine, like uh, like feminist for Islam uh, yeah. or LGBTQA <laughs> plus for Islam, mm -hmm. and they would go to Dawagandis, yeah. and the Dawagandis want to literally throw you off the rooftops. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. all those feminists. There's no such thing as feminism in Islam. It's all misogyny. It's all literal, like, man's everything, right? Yeah. Women are deficient. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, but why don't you say that? Why don't you say that in your dawah yeah. when you say it? Right? Mm. So, yeah. hence why <laughs> they mock them because they would, they, they can explain to them why we left. <laughs> because if they start explaining or why we left, or they see us, they will come up to us as well for our argument, for yeah. our yeah. perspective. And that's yeah. why they will call us fake, just to give a whole insight of our religion is all sacred, brother. <laughs> it's not all secret, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're lying. That's yeah. the lie. Yeah, yeah. Abhi Francis, you are right. And, uh, you know, ex Muslims, they're called uh, fake everywhere. Because yeah. Muslims yeah. are trying to hide the whole picture yeah, of uh, yeah. of uh, ex-Muslims, you know, and uh, what they do is, you know, they they fake. They yeah. don't exist. Yeah. And in Somali case, for example, they will say, no, Somali is hundred percent Muslim. This 100%. People, they are fake. They don't exist. Even so that's, I saw that, your live yeah. stream like last week where you yes. talked about the as fake ex-Somali Muslim. Yeah, just yeah. because he does not know. So yeah. okay, so I wouldn't know what Kibbe is uh, yeah. in Lebanon. Yes. Or I wouldn't know what uh, <laughs> what Egypt's called in Arabic, Misr. Yeah. yeah. So I wouldn't know that. So that makes me a fake ex-Muslim. Great. Yeah. So I don't yes. Know yes. This food, yes. So I'm a yes. ex-Muslim. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, and also, is, uh, they even do. They even not say fake ex-Muslims, but also they will say fake Somalis. We are not even our oh, nationality. Yes. Nationality <laughs> even gone seriously every oh, day. Yes. You are not Somali. You are not Somali. You are not Somali. And we did a DNA test, and I become hundred percent Somali. I'm the number one person who become like hundred percent Somali. And showed on here last time, last week, I think it was a comment. Someone posted and said, "Oh, there was a Somali person," and he said. Oh, they are not Somalis. They are uh, what they said, Native American. Can you believe that? Oh, now, okay. before we were like Kenyan, before we were Ethiopian, Kenyan, okay. Uganda, whatever African country, but now, no, all the way Native American. Can you believe oh, that? Oh, bless. 
You've yeah, but, law, haven't you? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> but this claim of uh, ex-Muslims are uh, fake is yeah. that this shows that Muslim has collapsed. Yeah. And uh, yeah. they are just trying to defend uh, something which was collapsed already. Um, they cannot defend it, uh, but they they trying to do something, and this yeah. is uh, their their best to do. You know, saying they are fake, but no one is fake. Everyone is uh, you know original and. Uh, yeah. We we pressing on, brother, and uh, we will see you in the speaker's corner, and people will know you who you are, and yes, they will yeah. accept you yeah. who you are. But in Jesus' name. But Jesus think name. think if they say fake and we don't talk about it, people will think yeah they're fake. But if you if oh, we yeah. say no, we are not fake. We exist. We're here. Yeah. So they will give up later on. So we have to press on and show them that Islam has collapsed. Especially exactly. us ex-Muslims, we need to um, stand up, help each yeah. other, stand up and speak for our rights, uh, rights, yeah. rights, you know, because they're always denying, denying, denying. And uh, let us help each other. Yeah. Even if you are yeah. atheists, we don't mind whatever religion you believe. Other religion, if you all come from ex, if you are ex-Muslim, we all in the same boat. I think we're supposed to help each other. You know, exactly. sometimes I'm seeing ex-Muslims, you know, especially if they are atheists, they just go into the atheist channel and if they're Christian, they go to the Christian channel. No, we are all ex-Muslims. We should exactly. supposed and help, we are apostates. help one, yeah. one another. Apostates prophet. Yeah. He's our prophet, isn't it? All the ex-Muslims prophet. <laughs> yeah. But he, he's, he's not coming here, this channel. What what happens to him? Yeah. Where are you, brother? Especially, I would also our prophet, say... you, are, you come here. <laughs> yeah, I'm Absolutely. just calling. A, B, I would a, like to write to everyone that please pray for a lot of ex-Muslims out there who are yeah. still living in a Muslim country, yeah. who are living in any way in the world, yeah. and they do not have the independence. And especially pray for Sharif Gaber, uh, Sharif Geber, yeah. who's in Egypt, uh, is an ex-Muslim, has completely shown a lot of reality about Islam. Yeah. But please, please pray for all these people because they really need your prayers right now they might not be christian they might not be uh in in the faith that you belong to but at mm. least pray for them as a human being mm. because a lot of christians i do understand uh yeah. some would not even pray for uh, another christian or for another religion which i don't understand why but please it would yeah. be great yeah if you guys yeah. can pray because they are they're, they're people they're just normal people like us yeah who left islam and bless and uh, hope hope god blesses them with the courage to come mm. out show come themselves out. and be like we are here do we what love you're them. proud of let's yeah. see how many you can do it yeah 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 Th thank you for that uh, uh prayer request and uh, as you all know uh, there's another brother brother muhammad uh Kayser in uh Indonesia, the pastor oh, yes. who is imprisoned, and uh, yeah, yeah keep him in your prayers so yeah, that he will be pray. released without any condition. Yeah, and uh, ask the Lord that uh, yeah, bl the blood he shed will be you know um, the blood of material, bl blood of uh, uh, more uh, converters to come uh, oh, after Jesus him. So pray, pray for him, yeah, and for his release and for his family as well. His yeah. family, yeah, we need Amen. to pray. Ab uh, Abi Francis said yes, we should invite Abusta Prophet. Yeah, yeah. I would love you him. know, I yeah, love we will love, yeah, we will shout, love, we will shout out that's for why, him, yeah. that's why I said earlier, you know, Abusta Prophet, we love you so much, you are our prophet, yeah. <laughs> our ex, all the ex-Muslims <laughs> prophet, you know, yeah. you, the, you, you are better than the prophet we had uh, previous, yes. so you, exactly. this channel also is your channel, because we are ex-Muslims. But now he's we got more than the Muhammad himself. So. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. So he's always welcome here. Any yeah. ex-Muslims are welcome. Even the Muslims are welcome. Any religion you have, you are all welcome because God has made everyone in his own image. You know, God loves so much to everyone mm -hmm. because the love he has, he sent his only begotten son. Whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We need to pray for the uh, for the people who left Islam, who come out, like you said, brother. There is a lot of Somalia, even young people who left Islam. 
and but they they are atheists many of them they scared they cannot come out they have a persecution they cannot even share and um, you know what they're going through and even they don't have a church who uh, they can call home you know for, for us thank god when we left islam we become christian and god has given us another family you know now we can go to the church we have a community of believers who are lo uh, 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 loving us and praying for us and standing with us but imagine if someone young person especially who left islam and uh, don't have other community don't have he will be like lonely you know if it's boy or girl they will be lonely feeling lonely and uh, they, yeah. they they had uh, you know yeah, so many of them the yeah depression the a lot of, of somalis yeah. that we need to pray for our people uh, all the ex-muslims especially somalis we know them many of them and we love them and we always supported them on our channel we yeah. talk to them we are like uh, we, we just love them because they cannot come out here and share what they're going through because there's they have a fear but in behind the scene they can contact us and we we talk to them even if they don't believe god we love them because God believe in them because God knows them, mm. their existence because He is the one who created them in His own image. So let us pray yeah. for one another and let's pray for all the ex-Muslims and even Abu Sir Prophet. We pray for him. He become yeah. Christian, you know. He knows so much in the Bible more than so many other Muslims. That's why he's they debating with him about the Bible and he's silencing them. So let us pray for Apostle Prophet because he's such a nice man. He's so calm, he's so clever. He left Islam, he's leading people out from Islam, but we need all of them, him and anyone who's following him in his footsteps to know that the real God, you know, the real God is loving God. You know, the Muslims come from this angry Allah, you know, who's promising hell and no mercy, no grace, no this, that. And they think all like a, like God is the same, that God. They think it's the same religion with the, with the Islam. That's why so angry and they're uh, running away. And when you say about Jesus or say about the Bible, or, say, oh, or God the loves you, they just scared and uh, just running away. Think same thing with, with Allah. And it's not. We all it's know not. one thing, don't we? Mm. When yeah. we or oh, when we when you also we when we go you used to go to mosque. Cry, cry, pray for your sins, pray for yeah. forgiveness. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nothing's gonna gonna happen. This world is literally so bad. This world is this yeah. this, this world is yeah. hell for you. This is yeah. this. no joy, no, no love, joy. No, no 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 compassion, no nothing. Mm. And it, yeah. when you go to a church, what is it about? Love. Yeah. Yeah. Prayer. Yeah. Mm. Beauty around you. Be nice to others. Help others. Hallelujah. Respect others. Yeah. Uh, be a good person. Be yeah. happy. Enjoy mm. your life. Enjoy your life. God's yeah. Giving yeah. You the, the, the biggest gift. Enjoy it. But, yeah. But when it comes to Islam, no, brother, you can't enjoy what you're going to be this. And I'm like, oh, thank brother, God, out of it. Brother, now they are changing a little bit. You know, the narrative has holes and everything, and they are just trying oh, to make a Christian, uh, Islam like a Christian. You know, now they, they change their mind. They will say, enjoy you, you, you they every like. day's life. You yeah. know, the Joyce Meyer. Allah Joyce loves Meyer you. used to have a, oh, a what call, yeah. what they call, what, the, what program, they call, call, program yeah. called enjoy, enjoy your life. Yeah. You, enjoy your, your day's daily life. life. Yeah. And they make, you know, even Somali sheikhs, some, uh, some sheikhs, young boys, they make a book, same like a Joyce Meyer. When I read I, and I see, it, it's same like a Joyce Meyer. What's going on? Enjoy your daily life. Where well, Allah said, enjoy your daily life. You know. He said to cry all the time and not to enjoy your life. And now they're making everything other way around. And they want to make the Quran like uh, the Bible, everything like love, kind, and uh, just enjoy your life and do this and that. and. Brother, they change in every day, brother. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the sheikhs are working so hard changing the Quran. Yeah, the whole is is just the whole, changing. Yeah. It's the ridiculous. Holes, yeah. ridiculous, ridiculous, yeah. ridiculous. Well, it's changing in thank front you of for eyes. the narratives in the whole. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. You've exposed yeah. so much. And thanks yeah. to Muhammad Hijab for that. Let's just give the query Bay vlogs to. Thank you, yeah, yeah, Hijab, yeah. for bringing that man. What's, what's his name again? Uh, yes, Yasir Khadi. Yes, Khadi. Yes, Khadi. Thank you so much, Yasir Khali, and thank you so much, Muhammad Ajab, for yeah. the beautiful thing that you've done for all of us. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. When we deep dive, I like when he said Yasir yeah. Khali. When we deep dive, yes. the Quran has 
the standard narrative has holes. holes. Yeah. So holes. if you deep dive, it's big, big hole. Yeah. <laughs> so no, don't deep is, dive. Don't deep why dive. Why don't they talk about why? Why I did, I don't understand why these people don't talk about. Yeah. Uh, Usman burned so many, so many Qurans. Quran, old, yes. Old, old Qurans, right? Yeah. And yeah. then they also never talk about. Um, oh well, after the death of Prophet, the compilation was an issue. Mm -hmm. Because they were questioning themselves, if we compile this, would this be a sin? Yeah, and you're like, some people have different. Um, like when when they say perfect preservation of Quran, this this is an example to all the people. This is my answer to you all. Yeah, when you talk about the perfect preservation of Quran, ask, ask yeah. the Muslim. Yeah, when they ever they say perfect pres Quran perfectly preserved. Well, they, well, why did Uthman say to the people of Hafs Quran, mm. people yeah. who actually memorized the Quran, why did he say, you only know what's left of it? Do mm. not ever say you know the whole thing. If the Quran is perfectly preserved, why isn't the whole thing there? Yeah, yeah that's a good, good question. That's a uh, good question. So uh, perfect preservation by Allah, sent down to Muhammad, got lost with certain narrative. Uh, yeah. The breast suckling was thrown away by Aisha, <laughs> maybe she just slid it around under the, goat under the eat pillow it. and then, yes. just, uh, you know, what do you call it? let the goat eat it and, yeah. say, oh, goat ate it. Okay. and yeah. then, um, what do you call it? And then Usman burns all the other Quran. Where yeah. is the perfect preservation of Quran again? Not at no. all. So if someone tells you, yeah. perfectly preserved, then say, why did Usman say, just no, what's left of what it? Yeah, left, left of it. Yeah, what's mm. left of it? Wow, yeah. wow, wow! It is crazy and yeah. it's just disappearing in front of our eyes. You know, yeah, guys. If you enjoy the the testimony, please share, like, and and yeah, just leave your comment. And if you have a question, it's it's the please. time. It's still, you, still, yeah, you have a time. Can ask any questions? Yes, yeah. I, I can oh, answer brother. everything I possibly can. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I might not be able to. Uh, we enjoying, we enjoying your testimony, brother. It is amazing, Thank you so amazing much. testimony. We love you so much. You know, our, our brother Francis is one of the, our viewers here. He's always following us, called before as well, and now sitting here and sharing his testimony. What a brave man! We we love you so much, brother. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you, thank you so much coming here. So, guys, uh, your questions we need to uh, see from here. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what is going. So, yeah, I would love to go back to um, Dino's question about uh, the view of uh, Islam uh, before, you know, yeah. uh, the, the view of Christianity before you know left Islam. Um, that was uh, exactly what um, Brother Francis mentioned when he went to um, a Friday prayer and the Imam was talking about uh, infidels, infidels. Uh, out there and how defiled they are and how uh, bad people they are and all kind. That was our experience and uh, we grew up in that way. You know, these people are it's hated insulting. by Allah and mm -hmm. uh, you have to push them down, you have to insult them, you have to, you know, they are defiled people and they they denied Allah. If someone denied Allah, they are like like animals and something like that. So it was of the creatures. Wars of the creatures. Exactly. Yeah. That was our experience, and it depends on uh, where you grow up and how you grow up as Islam, uh, as a Muslim person. Yeah. So the uh, the experience we had before we left Islam, it was just a bad experience, and we hated uh, Christians and Jews because Allah hates them. Yeah. Well, who Allah hates them, you cannot you cannot love them. Mm. So you have to be sided with Allah with hate and killing and all kind. You know, you cannot question at all. So you grow up like that way and seeing all, suddenly this way of loving people. You know what I'm uh, do you know when I entered the first time in, in a church, I was expecting that they will curse other believers. <laughs> like you used to call like I used to do when I was in the mosque. <laughs> And uh, it, it was an earthquake in uh, in Turkey that time, and uh, the, all the Christians there they were praying for Turkey, oh, just, yeah, and really. uh, it was an Islamic country, and they were even collecting some uh, funds for them. Mm -hmm. And I, was, what? What are they doing? Are they You're crazy? Yeah, yeah. These people hate you, and they curse you. And then you know, now you are praying for them, and you are collecting money for them. Yeah. You want to support them? Yeah. How on what on earth is going on here? Yeah. So your mind has, you know, we will blow up when you see reality. But when you live in inside, uh, you know the box. Uh, I mean, uh, the the box, you cannot see anything. But when you are liberated from that box, you will see all things. 
yeah, and you will it. warn the people in mm -hmm. there to come out of there and that's yeah. why we are trying and we are you know I'm doing our best to set our people free from yeah. that cult as yeah. uh, brother francis said and his his sister and um, and and mother we have to leave this cult yeah. it's just a cult when you realize what they're doing and how they are and how they how all things are you know instructed and, and so yeah so that was our experience earlier uh, when we were muslims yes 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 brother and i uh, don't see any questions now but it says francis welcome to the family brother yeah thank wow you. praise god yeah fair thank you so much for the amazing comments you have guys brother what are you going to tell the muslims who are watching you right now and or later on because we have a lot of muslim following and watching our channel especially Somalis who don't even speak Arabic but they just blindly following and uh, just uh, calling themselves hundred uh, percent Muslim Sunni and so on uh, yeah. what are you gonna tell them brother yes yes uh, Somalia mm. or Somalian Muslims yes yeah, Somali Muslims please yeah. understand that you're not Arabs mm -hmm. yeah. first you're not Arab you're not Arab you're not part of the Bedouins Shocking. And you do not speak Arabic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And always remember one thing. Uh, near, near the Qiyamah, or as you call it, end of the days, yeah. mm -hmm. what will happen? Uh, the people were, who are Muslims will turn white as the snow. Yes. But people wow. who are unbelievers will turn as black as a coal. Mm -hmm. So, can you can you understand the racism here, or do you want me to, do you want me to explain much Listen. further? Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. almost of all, I'm sorry, but Muhammad had black slaves. So Bilal, that you guys, uh, Bilal the Hapshi, that you guys praise a lot because he prayed. Uh, he was the first Adam caller. He was a slave of Muhammad. Yeah, he was. He used mm -hmm. to get up really early in the morning to yeah. do the Fajr Adhan, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, do not tell me that he was treated nicely because every other person was sleeping apart from him, apart from him because he was yeah. asleep, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And then Muhammad did tell uh, his companions because they were asked, what does Satan look like? Oh. The blackest person there, mm. that's what Satan looked like. Mm. Uh, Ethiopians, who were black, raisin heads. Wow. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're following a man who's an official racist. Racist, yeah. Right? yeah. And yeah. then he is an absolute <clears throat> disgusting person who is so obsessed with being white, the whiteness of his uh, back, the whiteness yeah. of his arms, the whiteness, <laughs> yeah. the whiteness, the whiteness, the whiteness, the whiteness. Like, Arm beat. Come yes. on. <laughs> okay. If he's so obsessed with being white, yeah just put the bloody bleach on yeah right. <laughs> yes <laughs> right okay and yes yeah. and sorry but the thing is like somalian muslims you're better than that yeah uh, you're a lot better than that you do not need to follow a racist man yeah who seriously has got nothing on you he's yeah. not going to take you to heaven he's definitely going to take you to hell though i know that for sure yeah mm. right but at least please please give up Give read yeah. understand question yeah you are you are a human being your mind is free to question yes stop being like one of those arabs like those bedouins who who do not want to question anything they're like oh well, khair salah, khair salah. no don't be like that mm. question rise yourself yeah have some courage have some uh have some have some deep thoughts meditate i i, I don't think I, I whether islam would go allows meditation or not but no, i think it not. might be haram because yoga is haram in the end of the day everything's, everything's haram. Haram. haram everything's haram yeah everything's now. haram in islam yeah. so try yeah. meditating and try listening to your own yeah. thoughts and see why yeah. am i doing this <laughs> yeah so this would be an amazing talk uh amazing mm. amazing uh amazing talk within mm. yourself with your with your consciousness and say why are you following why why are you as a black person is following a, a, a Muhammad who literally who who was not who wasn't nice to black people who wasn't kind yeah. to them yeah. yeah 
who was constantly all about the black people are going to be full uh, a black a black, uh, hell is going to be full of black people as well mm. and black dogs yeah someone's oh, yeah, right black, dog. <laughs> black dogs yeah. he hates all the color black yeah mm. yeah so, but the thing is i i don't know was his mole black because that was the sign of his being a prophet wasn't it i wonder yeah. whether his mole was black yeah or did they scrape it off by calling up a bucker oh could you scrape that off Yes, yes, yeah. Wow, wow. Praise God. Uh, brother Hussein Mahsi, Mashi is here. Mashni, welcome. Welcome, Hussein. Brother, we love you so much. Welcome. Uh, this is a question here, um, Ambrosa. No, it's not a question. It's a comment about uh, us. If we can make, and uh, please make, uh, do Sawahili because East Africa, Tanzania, and Kenya need your help. They are blind and still sleeping. Oh. Uh, please pray, Swahili, <laughs> because we don't know, speak Swahili. We only well, speak may, Somali. May, may the Lord add the Lord will Swahili provide. speaker is that they on, can make, On, on the know, channel or any yeah, channel, that would language. be so good. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. We love you so much, Brother Hussein. Yeah. How are you doing? How are you doing? We have amazing testimony today. Our brother Francis is sharing his testimony. And we have, who we have back today? Yes, Somal a Somali, a Somali Muslim, Muslim. Muslim. yes. Yes, Jamal Who said and Nasser. Is haram in Islam? Well, yes. uh, is yoga not haram because you are in state of a trance and chakra yeah. and stuff? Yes. Oh, welcome to hell. Oh, thank you so welcome much. Welcome to hell. He's a Somali Muslim. We escape from hell. <laughs> Jesus exactly, we just escape out. from hell. And at the end of the day, Jamal, uh, yes. is it not haram to eat pork? Well, well, it is haram to eat pork. Uh, yep. It's haram to dance. It's haram to listen to music. Uh, yeah. It's haram to live your life properly. It's, it's haram, haram to, to smile, it, to laugh. Uh, haram to laugh out loud. Uh, yeah. yeah. Laughs out loud in uh, in what Middle East? Yeah. What would happen? She'd be arrested, would she? Because she's yeah. laughing out loud. Yeah. She's Not yeah. So yeah. please, Jamal, grow up. Ask yeah. more questions. <laughs> Jamal Abdenasser, yes. 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 Uh, <laughs> let me welcome uh, welcome back Jamal Abdenasser. He is uh, he is uh, Somali <laughs> brother. Away. We love him. Somali and Muslim, he's been yeah. away for a long time. Somali Muslim, of mm, course. Yeah. yeah. And he said, Welcome to hell. I will tell you, Welcome to heaven. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> welcome yeah. to heaven. Yeah. Yes. Welcome. Yeah. Because yeah. this is, you know, uh, <laughs> your opportunity. This is. You remind me of something yeah. funny, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, some Muslim man called us not long ago. I think it was yesterday, the day before. And he said, oh, you guys come back to Islam. And we said, why we come back? You don't even know where you go. And I said, he said to the end, he said, uh, he, he started cursing and he said, see you in, in heaven. heaven. <laughs> you know, see you oh, in hell. See, see you in hell. hell. <laughs> see you in hell. The Somali Muslims, they would say, see you in hell. So they, they just uh, know Because, it. Shania, the, uh, it they is a promise for them. All yeah. of them, they will go to hell first. And <laughs> then those who are Muminin, they will transform. <laughs> they will be transferred oh to, to heaven. Yeah. Anyway, it's a brother. Jamal yes. Has yeah. Another uh, sort of like uh, chat here, which I'm, which I'm reading. Yeah. So he's saying, me or you, you grew up now. Well, I, I'm sorry, but Jamal. <laughs> Jamal. <like this>. Jamal. <laughs> uh, you are not living your life fully yet. You need to enjoy yourself, buddy. You need to yeah. relax. What do you mean we see our test? Go out and, and see the life. Like, mm -hmm. are you, are you, is he in Somalia? I don't know where he is, but he's in... Uh, he's a Somali Muslim. He's a person. Somali Muslim. That's okay. what he, he always he comes here. here and, uh, yeah. But it's not so, so really nice. But well, we have to be nice to him. Yeah. One day you see what this real, what this real, uh, what do you call it, Islam is all about. And then yeah. I hope, okay, even if you're a Muslim and you want to uh, you want to stay a Muslim, well, that's your choice. But all I'm going to say is enjoy your life at least. Trust yeah. me. Sometimes yeah. bacon's really good. Yeah. Have not seen East Aziz? Tell him. Tell Watch him. that movie. <laughs> East Aziz. East, East, East. Pack sunny dad but British mother. And what do kids do? Eat pork when dad's out. Try yeah. You like it. Yeah, yeah, they will yeah. like it. They will like it because first time for me, I tasted uh, bacon was when I see Muslim w colleagues who used to work with me eating bacon, bacon and 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 what was that, bacon sandwich? Yeah, in the That's morning, it. 
And I said, what is going on? And the smell was so nice. And they're sitting here and eating. And I said, is this in the haram for you? And they said, no, because it's halal. Because the the, the verse itself, it says, do not eat in, uh, you know, that animal or blood or, or, or swine, what they call like a, yeah, a, a, a pork. Pork, but if you don't have other option, it's halal for you. You know, it's yeah. berm uh, it's, uh, it's uh, permissible, it's haram, and also it's halal in the same yeah. verse. How ridiculous is that? That's the Allah, yeah. Yeah, uh, Allah. brother Jamal. Jamal said, "She, you know, I think you should do a PCR test." Okay, PCR I, test? I will do PCR test. What does that mean? To protect myself and uh, to protect the society, I advise you to do the same as well. But. What you know what? Is and uh, majority of the Muslims, uh, they say uh, coronavirus is uh, a weapon for Allah oh, to, to, you know, to eliminate um, infidels. Yeah. But they're getting uh, it as well. So I'm so sorry, Jamal, but I, I hope you are safe. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, but Muhammad did not believe in viruses. Yeah. Remember yeah, no, what he no, no, no. said? Uh, uh, a sahaba asked, my camel has me some sort of a skin disease. Yes. So it's passing yeah, through yeah. the other animals. But then Muhammad said, uh, how do you know it's passing? Or something about those lines. Mm. And who got the first one? And then everyone shut up and, hey, that's how I got owned. Or someone, some man got owned just because Muhammad did not believe in viruses. Well, I'm yeah. sorry, Muhammad did not believe in viruses. And now yeah. they're taking it out of context and saying, Allah sent this because it's, to cover people's faces and make them feel what it's like, what it's like <laughs> to wear a hijab or a hijab. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he doesn't feel, uh, <laughs> he doesn't believe a virus. That's why he said to lick my fingers. You know, he used to say, oh, yeah. if you eat, has to be, you have to lick your fingers or someone else has to lick for your fingers. <laughs> Imagine now yeah. this time yeah, in Jamal, germs, lick other germs. people's uh, fingers now. Yeah, Jamal is the one who's licking is. other people's uh, fingers. Yeah, and yeah, he so thinks that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, camel urine. Yes. Camel urine, yeah. Camel urine, yeah. <laughs> the biggest, the biggest, yeah. biggest thing Muslims could ever have. Go yeah. to go to UAE, go to the deserts next to Dubai. All the trekking that you uh, a lot of Muslims like to go to in the Range Rovers. Yeah. Go to camel urine, free camels around, a lot of urine. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty yeah, them, you can, yeah, you, you can collect them and you can sell them as well in, uh, into exactly. Somalia if you want well, to. Okay, Jamal Abdul Nasser, yeah. camel, assalamu alaikum. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yes, uh, that was well, uh, the funny. Set. You should, should stop this very really. well. Yeah. Jamal, yeah. Uh, what is misleading so far? Yeah. Answer. Tell us. Jamal. No, he has a he has Jamal, a any clue. Conversing you with you here. What is misleading? Yeah. Yeah. Jamal is funny. You know, he just say whatever he likes. He just trying to to defend Allah and his Allah and oh, his prophet. You know, they are little babies, you know, waiting home. Yeah. You know, his Allah is a baby. His, his yeah. God, his prophet is a baby. So they all want to, Allah and Jamal to protect them. So Jamal is and the big, Allah, big brother. Uh, and obviously Allah, Allah needs protection, Allah needs slave, because yes. obviously Muhammad is all about. Yeah. Uh, Muhammad needs phrases constantly. Uh, when it comes to Allah, there is no such thing as peace be upon him. But then when yeah. it comes to Muhammad, there's all sort of uh, pieces be upon him. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna say, you know, you just what? Why are you following uh, Jamal? Why you have to follow God who needs you? You you help. You help and your oh, exactly. protection, yeah. and you have to protect him. You have to fight for him. him. You have to yeah. die for him. What kind of God? Why are is you that? so passionate about him? Yeah, like, yeah. Please live you so far. Yeah, he did nothing, not do anything. He, he just... wants you to do for him. Yeah, uh, things. Yeah, just exactly. leave. Jam yeah, Jamal, you please need, leave. He needs praises constantly, constant prayers and everything. Well, mm. I'm sorry, I know you're yeah. Christian. What? Uh, what is? I yeah, know, what I is... know you Christian, but at least try to be fair. Islam is an amazing. You know that. Oh, that's why I left it, didn't I? No. <laughs> if it's so amazing, I love that. That's why we I left all left. It. It. Yeah, infidels. We're yeah. proud of that. We so, left this land. Yes, exactly. We're so proud that of is that. That is the uh, joking part. And, uh, yeah, you know, everyone is enjoying. I think it, yeah. he's getting a lot of answers from the, our viewers, our brothers and sisters. Oh, yeah. You know, Somal Christian TV family are here. So they answer for him. I think he's getting a lot of love from, from them. You know, yeah. Jamal, imagine if you go to the, if we go to the Muslim channel 
and we say what you are saying to us, they will we shouldn't will stay block one minute you. there, yeah. They will block you within second. Within second, yeah. you will be out <laughs> and blocked and cursed and harassed and be after you and need to, they they will look report. after your report or do something or you, your address or even to kill you you even will die you know yeah. but thank god christianity is amazing because people of god have the they compassion love, yeah. love here you're here every day we answer for you we're taking all all the things and nonsense things you're talking about and all the insulting all, all the misleading you are the one who's misleading but the christians here welcoming you with a showering you with the love and, and compassion. exactly yes uh, but because... at least we laugh about it too yes yeah, we laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 we don't cry when you say something yeah, yeah. oh we don't we don't come after you <laughs> we love you so exactly. much yeah. Jamal, we love you so much yes yeah. exactly that's the best yeah. part we love you because uh, the creator you creator loves you loves and he you. commanded us to love you as well so we have nothing to do you know we have nothing wrong with you and or you know yeah. against you so we love you and uh, the lord loves you and uh, what we are telling you is just uh, come home mm -hmm. his arms are open for you and he welcomes <laughs> you he, he welcomes comment, you and uh, he wants you to be saved this comment gw said allah is great <laughs> because allah allow us to have four women <laughs> at once and not having shower you know oh. all the four women you can sleep with them one night and do not Without have a shower, shower. Yeah. imagine how disgusting dirty and deceased and smelly and all of that yeah Horrible, well, isn't it? Um, yes. <laughs> I think this wonder, I wonder, if they, uh, ex, uh, what do you call it, activate, or what do you call it, if they take out Muhammad's body, yeah, to the, uh, right now, yeah, and imagine all the sexual transmitted diseases that guy had, mm. STDs, STIs. I, I, yeah. I'd probably say he would be for a lot. Like yeah. you would come positive. Yeah, and because then, he said. <clears throat> Yeah, he said he had the nine uh, uh, wives and sleep all the nine sometimes one night nine, and didn't have a 12. 11, 11, yeah, 12 or more 11, and not yeah. have a shower. Yeah, had only one bath. And that's a uh, they're just proud of that. We're proud of yeah. that, you know, they're so proud of that. Yes, it's okay. Yes, so is there any other questions, brothers and sisters? To final uh, questions, final uh, questions, towards, and, uh, yeah. brother Francis, or towards us. Mm. We will answer uh, last uh, What the amazing now. testimony, yeah, brother. We, we love you so much. Yeah. And uh, please Thank come so back much. again. Come back again. And we will talk about another topic. God willing. We will I, I think we should have together. an open discussion where uh, a lot of Muslims, like Muslims can call in and question. Yeah, 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 yeah we'll yeah. have it. Yeah, yeah. Sure. we'll yeah. do yeah. that. Yeah. That will yeah. be so good. God willing, we will do that yeah. together. And if anyone had question, they can come mm. and we'll talk about it. And, uh, yeah, and later uh, on, when you open your channel, you make a... Make sure you send us the link and come back and we'll share with others will. Yeah. so people will come. So, so if that, there is no other questions, what is that? I would. And the, my chance to phone call. Oh, okay. Any so, Mark Christian, any chance to call? No. Uh, that's a uh, debit, brother debit. Yes. Yes, brother. Yeah. Just do it if you if you can. Uh, I think maybe, maybe I'll open the speakers so, so I can see. It's, the, it's not the speakers there, yeah? Oh. Okay, let me see. Brother Debit, let us take the call from... Because a lot of people are calling, so sometimes we just... Or maybe we just put on the link here if you want to come in. Do you want to come in, Brother De uh, Debit? Do you like to come in the street? Oh, he's calling here. Hello, brother. Hello, Habo. Our son, how are you doing? The bit. Welcome. Hello. Hello. I cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. Hello. Oh yeah. You can hear some noise now. Hello, the bit. Hello. Can you hear me now? Yes. Did you hear? I'm uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Hello, hello, Uncle uh, uh, Shino, Auntie Shania, uh, Somali oh, Prophet, uh, Sister Naomi, and Brother Francis. Yeah, thank you so much. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, uh, yes. Can you yeah. hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. I mean, I mean, I mean, that was really wonderful uh, testimony by our Good brother Francis. God bless you, brother, and welcome. And um, 
uh, uh, yeah, today was my last shift, and I'm really, really glad to join this amazing Sai life. Yeah, and uh, God bless our brother. We're so glad to see Thank you. you so yeah. much. God bless you too. Thank you I mean, so much for that. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah, yeah, we miss we miss you, and uh, we hope that, uh, to see you. Uh, you Grago know, said to yeah. put on the link here, so yeah. I can come in. So shall I? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so, for some reason, my the, my voice is like breaking up. But then uh, I think uh, well, it was really. How do I put it? Uh, I really wish you all the best in the success and and wow today to hear uh, Brother Francis testimony straight to the point as straightforward as he as he is. That was really amazing. So he and I um, look forward to seeing me this soon again. Yeah, thank you. Amen. Thank yes, so yes, brother. Thank you so much. And we just put on the link of the studio if anyone come in because uh, Sister Dragon asked if he and. Uh, if she link. wants to join. So yeah. we put on the link anyone who wants to join quickly, they can just join in now. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, just okay, yeah. yeah, you can join but, in yeah. the link. But, just uh, yeah, if you have gonna, any questions, uh, brother. To give other uh, chance to get to call. Um, yeah. Brother Francis, God bless you, brother. And I look forward to your YouTube channel. And I wish That's you all so the much. best. And hope to see you and others in the uh, thing Speakers Corner soon coming when you are available. Amen. Sure. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, for some reason, I can't hear from his side. Yeah, he cannot so, because so. you cannot hear because we have a, on. We we oh. hear. Let me see. Uh, who won't come in? Yeah, the, and Sister Aran, you need microphone. You you need microphone. You cannot without microphone. You cannot you cannot join, guys. You need to fix your microphone first, and you can join after that. So only. Only Sister Dragon can join with us, but the others cannot join with us. So the beat, maybe join in the link if you want, just the voice, if you want. Okay. Yeah, you can Thank do that. You so you can hear. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. So there is other two, Sister Dragon, welcome. But before that, there is also other two, uh, Sister Irene and uh, A Ada, ADH, please. Fix Use your mix, yeah. microphone first. If you don't have microphone or microphone and and and, and camera, you cannot come in. At least microphone. You, we cannot let you in because it's not going without the microphone. So they're here. So welcome, Sister Dragon. Hello. Shalom. Welcome. Shalom. I shalom. Uh, I just called. Uh, thank you. It was really amazing testimony. Yeah, Brother Francis. It was amazing. Thank, thank you, you for so that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And thank you, Somali Christian TV, to um, give Brother Francis this opportunity and uh, to bless us all with his amazing testimony. It was thank really, you. really, really awesome. Yes. Thank, thank you, you, Dragon, sister. Um, he is a blessing to us and uh, we, we, we are blessed by him. Yeah. So we thank him oh, that yes. he, he accepted <laughs> our uh, you yes. know, yes. to come here. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much. Irene, welcome. Praise the Lord. Irene. Yeah. Hi, hello, everyone. Nice to see you all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice to see you, Irene. <laughs> thank you, Brother Francis, for your wonderful testimony. Thank you. It was amazing. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you God so much. Very kind of you to say. See you and give you more grace to excel from and higher to a higher level. You know, Amen. faith. And uh, I know along the way there's going to be some like discouragement and things are going to happen. But don't forget that you are standing on the solid rock. Amen. Yes. Amen. So now is Jesus Christ. Yes. That Amen. foundation can never sink. Yeah. That foundation so solid. God is behind you. Christ is behind you. The Holy Spirit, our greatest teacher, our yeah. comfort, our director, who is able to lead us anytime, any moment, any minute, is always with you. And uh, I want to thank Somali Christian TV. God bless you. Thank God bless you. you. I'm yeah, so glad. You guys are doing for the wonderful job, the, pro um, the prophets, um, Naomi, you guys, God bless you all. God Thank continue you. to strengthen you, or please you. you. And I pray that your channel, your ministry will grow from grace to grace to grace to grace. Amen. Not just Amen. growing in power and in anointing. Amen. That Amen. Across to you, 
their Amen. life will be transformed. Anyone that comes across to you, their life will be changed. That God Amen. will use you to Amen. bring millions of people, not only Somali, the whole of Africa. Amen. That God will bring Amen. people to Amen. Christ, to know Amen. Him. Amen. Bring people away from darkness and bring them into the marvelous light of the Most High God. And I pray Amen. that God by you, God keeps you, and God gives you long life to continue to walk in His vineyard. And yeah. I also pray God too, we call, we bring people along the way to help you in this ministry. The yeah. ministry is not one person's job. Mm -hmm. God is going to people to support you Amen. in every areas that you Amen. are lacking or whatever you need help. Mm. God will supply you those help. They will come and God will channel them and use them for his glory. Also, Amen. Brother Frank, if you are thinking of having a channel or whatever you want to do, God is going to give you the wisdom, the understanding. He's going to direct you. He's going to lead you. He's going to be available in that channel. That channel Amen. is going to explode. And yeah. people will come. And people will be saved through you. Life will be won back to God Almighty. So I pray that God bless mm. you all to protect Amen. you and keep you all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Amen. Irene, thank you very much for thank your you. prayers, for your encouragement. Thank you for your support. You are a, a wonderful um, uh, woman of God. Woman of God. Yes, always you always us. pray for us and stand with us. Mm. You know, this is a, a, the channel of Jesus. It's not only a channel of Somali, it's the channel of Jesus, and he's using it in a big way. So please keep praying for, uh, for us, keep praying for uh, Brother Francis and uh, everyone. Who is here because we are one family together yeah. and with the family when they united no one can break them so we have to keep Amen. the unity in in uh, in a preference way may the lord bless you and uh, sister yes. Irene. thank you very much amen amen, amen. amen. we have some more people here uh, brothers of uh, arabic language i don't I don't read the arabic uh, uh, guys the beat and uh, the beat and who else is here and i don't know let me read another brother uh, El -Haji, El -Haji Jawad. Haji Jawad, Haji, Kef Halak, welcome. We got Haji. Hello, hello. Yalla, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Salam al Messiah. Salam al Messiah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so, uh, so uh, I, I don't, I don't think uh, like Christianity works in in uh, in Somalia or Africa or or Arabic country because it's too soft. Uh, and, and people will die like fast if you you need uh, like a uh, tough religion like Islam to to work in that area. <laughs> yeah, bro brother, we 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 welcome you. But <laughs> what is the name? Haji. Yeah, Haji, God loves you and God loves everyone. Haji, see Muslim. And uh, you know, soft or harsh, the the word of God is the, uh, the you know the, the word itself, which is transforming people, yeah. not religion. We yeah. don't have any religion, but we have relationship with our Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. So where Jesus works, the Word of God yeah. works. Yeah, but, uh, that works but Mr. Well. Yeah, Mr. Shino is like, he didn't answer the question. I said, I, I said that Christianity is soft. It's soft religion. It doesn't work in okay. uh, in tough area like Somalia or Africa like Somalia. Or, or, so, or Saudi Arabia. Or okay, okay, Hajj. Uh, is, is that your name, Hajj? Huh? Hajj. Yeah, yes, I am Hajj. Yes, yes, I, I, I did right, okay. Hajj like, two uh, times. Yeah. So, in Islam is a strong religion, right? Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, okay, so can you answer me one thing then, please? Hmm? Are you Muslim you yourself? Answer my one question, if that's okay? Is he Muslim? Yeah, well, what's, what's your question? I didn't, I didn't, uh, sorry, okay, I didn't. so my question is, so when, uh, when Islam, uh, when Muhammad did not have that many followers, and Islam was all about peace, Islam was all about love, Islam was all about harmony, uh, to you, to your religion, to you, uh, to me, to my religion, right? Yeah. So, but as soon as Islam grew, it became strong. And that's, that's when the barbarism started, right? But then before that, so Islam, when the minority uh, of people were Muslim. Yeah, this is not the thing. This, this is, I'm, not, I'm not talking about so this. You're I'm not talking about so because, this. Because, because of that sort of start, the belief was so soft uh, as well. So wouldn't doesn't that make Islam soft as well? Okay, let, 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 me make, let me make it clear, the question clear. It's just like, in the desert, you need to kill animals and people. Yeah. And, and Christianity, you cannot, like, uh, you cannot do anything. 
it's too soft. It's, it's not like, too soft. Uh, okay. Yeah. So if, they, if, you, if you are no too light, nice, like, you'll be dead. So there's no Christian <laughs> in the British Army. So there's no, uh, so there's no Christian in butchery. There's no Christians in, uh, what do you call it? In other sectors like Navy, police. Uh, Where? So all the Christians, so are all the Muslims doing these jobs, that hard jobs that you, have, as you claimed them to be, is done by a lot of Muslims then? Well, there, there are a lot of, uh, I mean, like you, you mean like the Christian usually work in the cities, in cities, but they don't, they cannot, okay. so they cannot no live in like, uh, in uh, towns, they, in can live, they cannot live in the oh, desert. Like, can, uh, can, uh, can, if you are, okay. so in Africa, right? So the continent yeah, of Africa, okay. uh, so there's Christians, there's uh which there's a lot of muslims as well yeah okay. but this so, is like south so Christian egypt, south of, mm. right right so egypt being a country misser mm. as you call it uh it was desert so they were pharaohs they were they all muslims were they all not living the lives uh before islam came no, no, they, Islam, Egypt, Egypt, Islam most of the people of culture. Egypt doesn't live in the desert. They live on, no, I'm, on I'm, along I'm the I'm Nile. To you in this context of <laughs> what is this talking about? about, right? So you're talking in regards to the desert. So you're saying that all the all the Muslims can live in the desert. That's why it's a strong religion. But all those before uh, before uh, Islam, so people who lived in the deserts just died because they were Christians or just because they were not Muslims, right? So nobody knows how to live in desert. So I'm sorry, but your argument is completely false here. Yeah. yeah. No, ask no, no, you didn't ask the question. You don't, you don't even, you didn't even, so, even touch the question, no man. Uh, I want to ask, yeah. yeah. ask a question. Yeah, brother, I brother Haji, uh, uh, I, 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 right. I understood your question. Can I ask a question? Yeah, before you ask, okay, I would ask. Let, let, uh, me, let me answer. Repeat my question. Tell me in your words, what did you understand from the question then? Yeah, you said you said um, Africa like Somalia and uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, they don't need a um, soft religion; they need harsh religion. And Christianity religion. is not religion. So, Christianity but, is not religion, brother. Christianity is relationship with God and people. It is love yeah, and kind and mercy. You but can I ask no a question? Time and can I ask brother, a question? Listen, listen. I want to ask a question, Omar. Can I ask you a question? Hajj, you Muslim, yeah? Yeah, Alhamdulillah. So if you die right now, God forbid that. I'm not saying you will die right now. Do you know where will you will go if you go into heaven or hell? Allah ya'lam. Allah ya'lam. Allah ya'lam. Allah ya'lam. Muhammad said, Muhammad said, brother, we used to be Muslim, all of us. We used to be Muslim. Muhammad, said, Muhammad said, if any... Yeah, ma adri ma yuf'alu bi wala bikum in ittaba'i illa ma yuha ilayya. Yeah. What does uh, that mean? I, I hope you understand Say that. Say in yeah. English. Say in English. Maybe you don't understand. Uh, sometimes some people, they don't understand. No, no I yeah. understand Arabic. Yeah, yeah I understood. Let, let me so, explain to you, my audiences. Muhammad yeah. said himself, I don't know where I'm going. Yeah. I'm just following what has been revealed to me yeah. as, you know, um, uh, uh, the old prophet has been, uh, been done. So but he doesn't know where he's going. I will take from so there. That, I will yeah. take from there, Muhammad and uh, uh, Muhammad. Uh, Hadji. Yeah, Hadji. People, Hadji. people Hadji. do not Listen. follow anything unless Hadji. they are forced to. It's just Hadji. like... Uh, so are you forcing are you forcing people Hadji. to follow Islam then? No, listen, huh? listen, Haji, Haji, <laughs> Haji, please wait, please wait. Some uh, respect, yeah. Haji, you said you don't know where you're going. Your prophet said if he dies, he doesn't know where he was going. Uh -huh. All Muslims, they don't know where they're going. The Somali community, <laughs> our people, our family, they don't know where they're going but if they die. Good. But that's Christians, because, listen, listen, yeah. listen, listen, Abdul, listen, listen, uh, brother, Haji, listen to me, yeah. And, and for us as a Christian, we know where we go if we die. We're all going to heaven because God said, yeah, for God yeah. so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Brother, you need to repent and give your life to Jesus and you will have everlasting life. Why you have to follow religion where the, the leader of the religion, the prophet there's a, there's a said, I don't know where I'm going. Can you follow blind man and you are blind. You ca he cannot lead. Blind cannot lead another blind. But we have a hope. We have hope for you. 
the yeah, hope is Jesus. There is only one person who gets saved. That's, that's his right. name is Jesus Christ, brother. We're not going to force you, but Allah and Muhammad is not going to save you. You said yourself, you don't know where you're going. Allah, we Muhammad know where we're going. Go. Muhammad said, I don't know where I'm going. But Jesus said, I am the way, the life, the truth. No man comes to the Father except through me. Jesus, only his way is the way to go to heaven, brother. If you want to follow the real God, the one who created you, the one who loves you so much and doesn't care if you are black, white, or whatever color you are, if you're Arab, if you're African, if you're American, God loves everyone and he's calling people to himself. So you need to repent, brother, and come home. Come heaven. Yeah. Live, drop it. Drop this religion. It's yeah. not going to take you anywhere. You don't know if you die, if you go into heaven or hell. you just here. You just, it, it leads you just destruction, you know. Why are you following that religion? Why are you following the religion calling women half of the man? Why are you following the religion is promising to you yes. going to heaven? Going to heaven, you're not yeah, going to... it's difficult to listen, deal listen. with women without, listen, uh, without uh, Islam. Is that, is yeah, okay, 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 listen, listen. You know that... Will, uh, but, uh, I mean, women will cause too much problem. Yeah, yeah, listen, listen. <laughs> no, that's brother. what you Haji, believe. They don't cause any problem at all. Haji, brother, listen, listen. How can you follow the religion who's promising the promise? You know, all the Muslims, when they go to heaven, they think if they go into heaven, even they will have 72 virgins, the river of wine, just sex and wine. You can find here, brother. You don't need to wait after life. You don't need to kill anyone. You don't need to die for that religion and just expect in the end of the day, you will have river of wine, you will have uh, 72, 72 virgins, and you will have male, malehood, your malehood will be balm tree, the tree. <coughs> It just yeah. standing like that. What kind of religion is that? Is that is ridiculous and stupid, brother? We are looking forward to heaven, not what we are getting. No sexual, nothing. How many? Just how many? How many virgin the Christian will get? No, uh, no, no, no. Uh, brother, brother, so, brother, so, brother so, Haji, so uh, that, that, that's okay by now, so and uh, we yeah. Uh, but Francis yes, wants yes, to Francis say. Go Francis, go ahead, brother. I just want to say, uh, Haji. Uh, the only thing is, like. If you come, if you commit, uh, your your you talk about being a strong religion. Yeah. Uh, if your religion is so strong. Uh, if your religious men are so strong. Then please do let them know one thing. Stay back to stay back in Muslim countries. Don't run away, because the, if they are so powerful, where they are. Yeah. And they should make make it more powerful because apparently we know majority of Muslim countries right now are third world countries, right? And also, sorry to say, but as for the as for the as for the strong religion that you talk about as Islam, if it was that strong, then it a lot of people wouldn't be exposed to barbarity of it because you guys can't even hold your own religion. And the whole world is exposed to what it is. So Afghanistan was the biggest proof that you guys have shown a lot about yourselves. Yeah. You're not a strong religion. You just know how to fight. Yeah. But also remember, there are going to be people out there who might be Christians, who might be Jews, who might be Buddhists, Hindus, any other religion, or even atheists. They might be more stronger than your religion. Or, yeah. or majority religious men that you have. You can't question the strength and the power of someone unless you've been there. So I would, I would, I would recommend you to also yeah. see other literatures, to see yeah. other people as well. You talk about men and yes, men sorry. and men and men constantly, but you also need to realize there's also a thing called tactics. Yeah. The yes. strength is fine, but then the tactic is something you need, that need to. Because going blindly, stupidly, like Muhammad did, uh, killing everyone and then asked the woman to cook her food and she was, he was poisoned by her. So there were no tactics there, were there? Because he didn't yeah. think. So the strength came, but the tactics, tactics were missing. <laughs> so that's your answer. But thank you very much. Yeah, so thank you. I hope your strong religion yeah. stays strong. <laughs> stay because strong. one thing is happening because I'm seeing it we yeah, yeah 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 but please before you go haji please come back another time haji, uh, haji no, no. listen yeah, to yes, me yes okay come back another time we love you so much because now is the well, end of the testimony 
you are very welcome anytime you want here. We can even invite you here, even if you want to talk to us or debate with us. We are here for you anytime. Yeah, yeah thank yeah, you so I, much. I, I, I want to respond to Francis like in a few words. Hey. Okay, a few words, please, yeah, before yeah. you. So, yeah, quickly, Francis, quickly. Like, yeah. The, the, like, uh, people get stronger in history, like states get stronger and then go down and get stronger and get down. Maybe later on, uh, Muslim will be uh, will be will dominate the other the, the other the whole world. Yeah. Uh, Do you know who want? To, I, no, I I just want to say something before you go, Haji. You know who want to dominate the world? Satan is already dominating. So Muslims and Satan fight to each other, and we will see who going to win and lead the the and uh, dominate the world. We will see that. God yeah. bless you. Thank you so much, brother. So see you another time, Haji. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know, I wanted to ask him, you know, if you are a father and uh, you have uh, many children, would you be harsh to them or will you be soft to them that they will obey you or you uh, they follow your footsteps yeah. or you they follow your, your guidance? So that's the question to Haji. And uh, thank yeah. you, Haji, for joining us. But now it is just yeah, us. Yeah, we can just so conclude. Sister, yeah, it's yeah us. Sister it's Dragon sister. and, uh, Brother and David. David. Yeah, it is. Yeah. David is here. Yeah, Elia is he's the one who called us earlier, but you could not hear each other. But now you can hear, hear from each other if you want to yeah, say something. David. To hello, Francis. hello. Can you hear me now? Yes. Hi, yes, we can. Okay. Hey, <laughs> hey David. Sorry. I don't know what happened to my phone earlier. I couldn't. Here properly, but um, God bless you, Uncle Shino, Adeshania, Brother God Francis, bless you, son. <laughs> because I couldn't hear properly uh, if, if, if we was going through or not. And yeah, that was really, really amazing session. I enjoyed it very much. God bless you, Brother Francis, and in your future you. ministry. And with our utmost best, we'll do our best to uh, support our dear brothers and sisters in Christ in reaching out to Muslims. And yeah, because after all, they have been brain brainwashed to uh, say all these mm -hmm. things. They can't even question because the moment they question, they leave Islam. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's how it is. I and, mean, yeah. are you an ex-Muslim? Uh, no, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm actually uh, <laughs> ex-Hindu and ex-Buddhist, and I've okay. been learning Arabic. I'm, I've been learning Arabic as well, so I can for my future for polemics um, in reaching out to Muslims. And right. um, I really thank God for Christian Prince and Rob Christian. Uh, they are one of the Middle Eastern uh, Christians that have helped me a lot in learning more about Islam. Otherwise, this takia could have, uh, you know, led me to lies because yeah. uh, this there was this Pakistani uh, Muslim. He, when I was a teenager, he did that on me in the train, me and my best friend. Mm -hmm. And like I've been saying earlier before, you know. Uh, because of the peer pressure, he was talking about that the jal, the rod, and oh. and talk about this Bismillah Rahman and blah blah blah. Because I'm not going <laughs> to say the rest because no. I'm not going to take the shahada. No, uh, <laughs> because I don't believe in Jesus Christ. Bismillah, wal abdul al Qudus al Ilah al Wahid. Amin. Amin. Al Misti. Amin. Al Misti. Amin. Yeah. Amin. Amin. Amin, Amin. Amin my friend. Uh, so yeah, please everyone in the live chat, please uh, subscribe to Somali Christian TV. Continue mm. to support them, mm. share, and okay. you have that uh, thumbs up button. <laughs> the only yes. 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 Like yes. like well button. Yeah. yeah, the like right. button. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Right. <laughs> and stay tuned for our brother Francis and brother Francis. Um, yeah, I'm coming this coming uh, Sunday to Speakers Corner, just in case. You'll be there and uh, you will be you will be seeing me there for sure i will be there god willing god, god willing, willing god willing, I mean, god yeah. willing. and um i hope uh you know because you say god willing you know i wish you to look into uh, uh prophet google sallallahu <laughs> 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 it's reference google, yeah. <laughs> google here <laughs> prophet, i mean everyone the muslim they go for uh, they say Google is haram and stuff. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the Wikipedia. You yeah. Know, yeah. Everything. So, yeah. We have a prophet Google, though, our brother uh, yeah. in Christ. So Someone in that name. Not that name, yeah. prophet yeah, Google. Yeah. His name is prophet Google. Amen, yes. Amen. Yes. Also, yeah. also subscribe to the channel of uh, brother Debit. Please put on here the, uh, the, uh, link. Uh, the link here. 
moderators, <laughs> we are subscribed to our brother Debit. His channel is amazing. He has a lot of oh, testimonies. Great. So please and um, help each other and, and also subscribe and, and support our brother or any, anyone who's here. Their link can be posted here, and we can all subscribe. Yeah, oh, yes. we, we are already following your channel, brother Debit, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, you. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I mean, and I mean, I mean. what can I say more? Uh, uh, I mean, I really thank God that more and more Muslims have been uh, living Islam. And I, I heard about our brother Francis in Soko Films uh, yeah. when he was talking with Bob, brother Bob the Builder. And then yeah. I came from my work today. And it's been really, really a long time that I didn't get to see the Somali Christian TV live. I really miss my, my dear. Uh, Habo, Uncle Habo. Shino. I miss you so much. <laughs> yeah, really We've been missing you. you. I'm a, yeah, even yeah. Sister Dragon here. We all of us missing you, isn't it? Yeah. The thing is, yeah. I've been working in the because because uh, I, I work in the airport, so that's why I really couldn't. Uh, you know, I need to catch yeah. my breath and something like we that. We miss you. Just, we miss yeah, you. Spend most mm. of the time. Mm. And and take Thank beer. You. Masih al Akbar, Masih al Akbar Ladi, like there's a lot going on. Wow, I'm sick of it. Yeah. Why don't I, why don't I just join in? So yeah. Hallelujah, brothers. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And um, Amen. this one, uh, brother, brother Francis, have you? I was bacon. <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> How's your bacon? Uh, bacon was amazing, actually. Amazing. But, you know what? <laughs> Uh, I already had pork when I was Muslim, so... Wow, I never had pork when I was a Muslim, seriously. Nah, I, I was like, I was I trying. tasted I, I tasted I one, I become Christian, and I like pork, it. Pork, uh, you name it, I tried it, so this wow. is why. Like, <laughs> lard uh, was something, a big big thing, gelatin, but when when I used to go buy those, what do you want to call it, those Tesco strawberry mousses that had gelatin mm. in them, I always yeah. was like, you can't eat that. I'm like, this yeah. is the tastiest <laughs> thing ever. I'm going to tell you that. It's got gelatin in there. So what? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I will, yeah. Nah, mm. I didn't have that issues. Mm. Mm. Not at all. Well, Thank yeah, you, cause, Jesus. Because um, I never, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but my friend is from Indonesia. And at that time, we were back in Hong Kong. And, uh, you know, there was this multicultural festival, something like that, where every... Uh, students would bring their own traditional foods Ooh. like that, yeah. and yeah. so what happened? What happened was that uh, I think a certain country, I think from my country as well, uh, they were uh, making pork food by the pork soup with rice. Mm. And mm. my friend was a Muslim, the Indonesian, and then uh, I don't know, maybe he forgot to say Inshallah, brother. It, yeah. he, he he went for the pork and with the rice and he didn't know that there was a uh, pork and he, oh. i said how was it he said it's good i said you yeah. know it's pork he said that's for allah that's for allah that's for allah i said how was the billah i tried to tell you but then uh, you, you say it's good so what's the problem I mean, yeah. Yeah. Enjoy. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Like that. Today. Yeah. But really, like we hear time to time that, like our brother Francis earlier was saying, that uh, if they, uh, if your, if your dad's gone something like that, they will eat pork like that. We hear time and time again that Muslim does do eat pork, and in fact, even in the Quran, yeah. Surah five three and Surah five five, it does mention that uh, pork is halal. Pork is permissible to eat, indeed. So I don't know, Lord have mercy, and yeah. unfortunately <laughs> they are really, really. So yeah, uh, uh, Draganaski, sorry. Uh, please go on as well as uh, our yeah. dear wonderful sister in Christ, Draganaski. She's a prayer yes. warrior. She's amazing. Yeah, She's yeah. all over the stream, supporting yeah. our She's country, amazing. Our yes, amazing. Whether amazing in Somali, sister. Somali, in India, whether yeah. in Pakistan, any language, any She's language. in there in Arab TV as well. Yeah. She's there. Yeah. God bless. God bless. <laughs> you know, uh, the beat. It is a dragon. Reminds us uh, the verse uh, says, uh, "There is no Jew, no Gentile, no we female, no male." You know. I yeah, mean, we're uh, all one in Christ. Even our Somali I mean. language, our Somali channel. She is there. She's with us, us all the time, us. praying yeah. and, and there and verses yeah. and even some Somali words. And we love so much. And we, we love you so much, Sister Dragon. God yeah. bless you. God yeah. bless go, you go so on, much. Sister Dragon. Yes. 
uh, I just want to read a few passages, if you don't mind. Yes, it has to do sister. with the subject, yeah? Okay, yes, yeah. yes. It, 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 is, it is a Jesus speaking, yeah? yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, came, I came into this world so that the world could be judged. I um, came so that people who are blind could see. And I came so that people who think they see would become blind. Mm -hmm. Some of the Pharisees were near Jesus. They heard him say, they ask, are you saying that we are blind too? And yeah. Jesus said, if you are really blind, you would not be guilty of sin. But mm. you say that you see, so you are still guilty. Wow. Wow. So Praise Jesus God. is speaking about spiritual blindness. So they mm -hmm. see, they hear, but they don't accept and don't understand. Yeah. yeah. So they are Amen. still blind. They're still blind. Amen. And we need to yeah. pray. We need to pray. We Amen. need to pray for we sisters. Need to pray. Yeah, yes, exactly. I mean, and Jesus physically is not here on this world, but he is entrusted his world yeah. into us. Yeah. So, yes. uh, Francis, uh, the bead, us, you and other, other brothers and sisters who are here. Yes. Yeah, all you know, us. you have to speak the right, the, the word of God to other people that they will reach be saved. Out, yeah, reach, reach out, out to, to them. Muslims. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, was saying sorry, he but was just reading. wanted to say, uh, yeah. yes. someone before was, uh, what do you call it, asking, if yes. How's my relationship with my family? Yeah, so yeah I just wanted to say, I can't remember the name, but thank I you so much. Our family is absolutely fine. Uh, we mm -hmm. have a good relationship. Yeah. So there was no animosity. There's no yeah. issue. It's not like uh, the ex the bubble sim culture war. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so we are absolutely God. fine. But thank you so much for asking. Praise God. Wow. Thank yes, you, man. brother. Thank you. This was amazing, amazing day. But I hear this message from brother, uh, that dear said, the beat Ray is a great singer. He knows many <laughs> songs. So please, you have to sing before you go. Brother, brother, the beat. Prove yourself. Yes, we need to hear. <laughs> Yalla, ya Habib. Yalla, ya Habib. Yes. Sing. Wow. Uh... I don't know. It's, like it's getting really winter here, so my <laughs> <laughs> and I forgot to say inshallah. Yeah. <laughs> inshallah, yes. Inshallah. Three, three uh, times, my brother. Three times, inshallah. Three, inshallah, three times. You have to say, otherwise, it's not gonna happen. Yes. <laughs> inshallah, three times. Yes. Carry I mean, Alleluia. that's all. Amen. Sorry. Well done. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Wow. This is amazing. So, and if you don't have anything else to say, uh, Brother Francis, and yeah, just say yeah. the final thoughts or whatever you want to share. Your Yo, so, conclusion. final thoughts yeah. are, yes. uh, as everyone say, I'm going to copy a lot of people. Uh, I say this, but just say, Stay the hell away from Islam. <laughs> stay away from Islam. Yes, yeah. stay the hell away from Islam. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, that's been so great and amazing testimony from so, our brother Francis. And yeah, we so thank much. those who, who joined us. Yeah. And uh, thank you all of you who watched this uh, amazing video. Please share with your friends. Yeah. And if you are new to us and watching right now, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit subscribe. the bell so you'll right. see all the um, uh, amazing um, uh, updates from Somali Christian TV. Yes. I would love yes. to ask our brother Dragon to pray for us. Our to, brother, uh, our sister. Our sister Dragon, so sorry. <laughs> our brother. <laughs> I, 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 was, I, was, I, was, I was used to brother Francis, brother Francis now saying brother. Our so sister. anyways, sister forgive Dragon. Forgive my husband. Yeah, forgive <laughs> he didn't me. know what he was saying. Yeah. No worries, no worries. Yes, yes. yes, yes. Will, will you pray? Sister, if you can please, yeah, prayer. Yeah. yeah, God bless. Yeah. Sure, I can. Mm. Sure can. Yes. Thank you, O oh Lord, for this day, for our life, for our many blessings you gave us. We believe in your goodness with all our heart. So we are asking you today to go before us, to be our guide, and should situation make us stumble and we fail, to reach to us with your right righteous hand, help us up and lead us always 
on righteous path. Mm. As each hour passes on this day, O oh Lord, bless us with your strength, bless us with your joy, and please keep us under your watchful eye every day and stay be ready to help us and offer us comfort, peace, and Amen. your precious love, dear Lord. Amen. In yeah. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you Amen. so much, guys. A special thanks to Brother Francis. My God Thank bless you. Thank you so much so for much. inviting me on, guys. Thank yes, you so much. Yes, please come back Thank again you. and again and again. And all of you, our moderators, all of you, our viewers, you. our brothers, our sisters, Somali Christian TV family. Praise God for Jesus. We thank Jesus, each and every one of you. May the Lord bless you. Yeah. yeah. Thank amen, you so amen. much. Thank you, thank Dragon. You so much. Thank you. And um, thank just to you. let yeah. you know, just to let everyone know, please, yes. again, don't forget to subscribe. So you yeah. have that like button. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, we have a yes. uh, World Christian uh, live coming soon after this yes. uh, stream. Yes. Remember wow. that. Yeah. Wow. Join us. The top of the search yeah. for the real Al Aqsa Mosque. So yeah, join us and God bless you all. Yeah, yeah, God bless you all. Yeah. Brother at the beat, you are also a moderator here. You can put on the link here for our brother Rock Christian, his live stream. So mm -hmm. people can go straight away. Just put on here so we can just click. And also put your channel here and put the Hussein, Hussein Mashni, his channel here, or anyone else, all the brothers and sisters, their channel being posted on, on the live stream before we go. Yeah. Yes, I mean, thank you so much. Thank you. Is there anything else you want to say? Or we just, yeah, brothers yeah. and sisters? All of you. <laughs> thank you all yeah, for all yeah. everything. Thank you, brother. We would Francis, love to visit yeah. uh, as well with uh, brother Francis to uh, Uncle Chino and Auntie. Yeah, uh, yeah you're welcome. Uncle Chino and Auntie Shania of Church. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Amen. Yeah, thank you. Amen. Amen. We love you so much, yeah. guys. Thank God you bless so you all much. And thank you. See God you soon. Bless you. Yeah, See you soon. Thank bye you, bye. Francis, brother. Peace, brother Francis. peace be with you all. Peace be with you all. Peace of Christ be with you all. In Jesus' name.